Last week on Tall Can Tuesday! Like this dude. Titty, titty? Talk amongst yourselves! Come on! It's not my birthday, dude. Huge shout out goes to Antonio. Yes! What is up, my dudes? What's going down? Uh, welcome to another Tall Can Tuesday. Man, I look like absolute garbage. I look like garbage. What's up, dudes? Uh, sorry about the internet. The internet is uh, always terrible when uh, both my neighbors are home. So let's hope it holds together. Let's hope it holds together. Uh, I already cut myself today. The blood is uh, making it through the band-aid. That's how you know it's a good one. Welcome to Tall Can Tuesday. Uh, I am K-Pop RC, and uh, all of you dudes are here for Tall Can Tuesday. What? I mean, it wouldn't be Tall Can Tuesday without some brews, right? So hopefully you guys are, uh, you know, partaking in some kind of cold beverage. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. That's cool. No, no peer pressure. But uh, I'm going to start this uh, Tall Can Tuesday with some Peroni. Of course, we got to go Italian, the it Italianos. And, uh, and it's the delicious beer. And uh, uh, Gia, man, I, I drank all your beer already, so I can't have any more of your beer because I already drank it all. Uh, hopefully the internet holds up. Oh, my God. Let's hope it holds up. I'm going to drink a whole bunch of beer. Mm. All right, on the docket, of course. Uh, I mean, you guys are probably all here to see the uh, the winner of the uh, jet boat, 3D printed jet boat hull. Um, that is going to happen a little bit later. I'm still printing stuff uh, for it, but um, I'll send it out for sure. Uh, and uh, also, uh, six stance cars, your seats are going out. Chris, your package is going out too um, this week, so uh, look forward to that in the mail um, for the last week's winners. Guillaume, you already got your Wicked Drift Hilux. I think we should probably talk a little bit about what the next raffle is. Should I do another Helix um, let me know in the comments if that is cool. And, uh, what else are we going to do? The gen eight, the gen eight over there, it's out of focus, but, uh, it is ready to go. So we, we got a little bit of an update for that. Also, we're going to be uh, jumping into SketchUp and we're going to be designing our own scale as Shiza, uh, crawler bumper for that Jeep. Um, because the one that came, uh, on the, um, Axial Wraith is just uh, just sticks out a little too far, and I don't want the bumper to stick further than the front wheels. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Of course, we got snacks, uh, uh, snacks, uh, th th courtesy of Antonio, and also Guillaume. Guillaume sent me some preserves. I already had a few of these in a Caesar yesterday, and they were freaking freaking delicious. And uh, yeah, and then of course these bad boys that look like brains, but it's just cauliflower. The toots will be brutes. Uh, let's see here, Pim Sickens. Sorry, bro. The last week was the last week for entries for the jet boat. Um, 
Uh, just a heads up uh, for any of the raffles you can uh, enter through PayPal at any time. There's a link in the description. So if you ever want to enter this thing, you don't have to enter on Tall Can Tuesday. You can do it at your, uh, you know, uh, at your own time, whenever you feel like it, you can do it through PayPal and, uh, and then you can, you can, you know, you can enter. But, uh, last week was the last week for the jet boat. Um, if, if there are enough people that want another jet boat, I can print it. The thing with the jet boat though, is that it took a solid, I don't know, 50 hours of printing, which is quite a massive undertaking. And, uh, and I feel like people are much more into the drift uh, RC drift stuff. Um, maybe I'll tease one of them right here. Uh, what is this? Oh my God. What is this dudes? Is this a universal, uh, cage that doesn't have to be a helix and can go under any, well, most, uh, Lexan bodies. Well, heck yeah, it is. And, uh, also shout out goes to scale, uh, addiction for helping me design this cage. And, uh, he deserves a huge shout out. We're going to talk about him a little bit later. He designed a really cool crawler trailer that you guys can buy the stls for and then we're also going to be talking a little bit about uh you know creality creality uh is coming out with a new printer and uh it should be pretty sick so we will uh we'll just check it out because like it's a hilarious video those guys um obviously the writers are not english speakers and but they hired you know an english uh voiceover guy so it's kind of funny to hear the the, <laughs> the scripting and uh and what they decide to show in their promo video, hilarious. Uh, but I don't know, the drift looks pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, everyone's saying the Helix, which is, uh, oh, Jeremy wants that jet boat. Yeah, man, it's a pretty sweet jet boat. Um, I think I left it in the description and below if you guys wanna download the plans for it. I think they're like 27 bucks. And then if you have a 3D printer, you can just print yourself out one of these bad boys and uh the guy who designed this is actually running 4s in it and uh it's a beast but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later what else are we going to do of course the raffle and uh we're going to do the scale as uh sh i was going to say shiitake but it's shiza uh shout outs man i look like garbage dudes it's like green under my eyes uh terrible it's been a busy week for me unfortunately i had to work some overtime on the weekend so uh no uh k-pop rc time for me which uh sucked a little bit but i mean overtime is overtime so i can't complain too too much too much all right so let's see what are we gonna oh first thing i think we should start with is uh this sweet ass quarter scale corvette we should just like take a look at this is you know i feel like we should start these uh these episodes off with just like cool stuff that other people are doing. And uh, this guy, my QSC2, look at, he's a, you know, his his link is in the description, but look, he's only got 1,560 subscribers. That is nothing considering what he's building. I'm gonna start playing this. Hopefully it's not too, too loud. Uh, oh, oh my God, is that is that a V8? Is that a V8 quarter scale uh, Corvette chassis that this dude is building? Uh, cheers to beers. Yes. Oh, 10 scale garage, man, just do it. They're like 199 bucks for like a craft one. It looks like the size of an inkjet printer. And, uh, and then you can cut all your freaking templates. Anyway, look at this freaking thing, man. Look at this thing. Oh, wait, I think he does close-ups, and uh, we should look at the close-ups of this darn thing, man. Look at this thing. I gotta drink more beer. I'm not drinking a beer already. Boom. Yeah, that's a that's a V8. It's like a V8 nitro motor. Not sure exactly. Uh, I'm sure if you go to my QSC2, um, you will. Uh, you will see, you will see this man's project and you'll see how sick it is. It is, looks like it's 3D printed, the body's 3D printed. Check out that steering wheel, a wooden steering wheel. Is that metal? It's gotta be, Is are those gauges working? Probably, did he just start it with the ignition key? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah he did. So huge, huge shout out goes to this dude because like, uh, you know, it's not easy to sort of like engineer all this stuff. Like this isn't a kit. You can't buy this thing RTR. You got to build this thing from scratch. And uh, those are the dudes that get some serious, serious shout outs. 
on K-Pop RC. You know? Good gravy. Yeah. Yeah, the dude's got an FM. I know, I saw that too, man. I'm assuming he's just trying to save some cash. Uh, but yeah, FM radio. What? Right? Good lord. DIY bro says cheers to beers. Cheers, man. Uh, online hobby guy, hope you're doing well. <sighs> so many RC, great RC builders. Yeah, true. It's true, man. There's enough subscribers to go around, I think. Yeah, the online uh, hobby guy knows what's up for sure. Uh, Cletus. What about Cletus? Uh, yeah, yeah, he does a good job for sure. For sure. What's up, Big B, Ironclad RC man? Hopefully you're having a good Tuesday, and hopefully you're enjoying a cold beverage while we look at this insane thing. Look at this thing. It's insane. It's insane. The engine's a killer looking. I wonder, I'm, I'm assuming it's low torque, right? Because when you go down in displacement, you lose a lot, you lose a lot of torque. So I wonder if it's even really worth the power. Like, but who can, like, what is this, doing speed runs? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the attention to detail, Alley man. What's up, buddy? Uh, oh, the shirt. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, totally, on the back. It's uh, straight up, straight up, got the Cletus shirt going down. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys, because, like, this thing is just, like, absolutely mental. Like, it's mental. Like, anyway, so if you guys, you know, are looking for another cool RC guy to, you know, subscribe to, uh, definitely subscribe to this dude. Uh, he deserves it. And uh, cheers to my QSC2. Mm-hmm. Freaking delicious. Oh, man, Peroni, man. Love the Peroni. Uh, all right, let's see what you guys are saying. Things totally a beast. Uh, Rudy saying, check out Dennis Dempsey. Dempsey. All right, all right, all right. And I got to write down. Sometimes I write stuff down and then I totally forget. I'm going to write check out Dennis uh, Dempsey. You know, as soon as I can get a little bit of a more robust streaming setup, uh, Rudy, I'm going to be able to sort of watch these things on the fly. But uh, with the setup I have right now, uh, it's just a bit difficult to just sort of surf the net with you dudes because uh, I just worry about our connection speed and whatever. But uh, but yeah, yeah, no, we're working on it. We're working on it. Just, you know, it takes money and investment. I'd rather just sort of invest in all the projects I got going. Um, oh, dude, no. I mean, there's no next RC project. It's, um, well, I'm finishing the Gen 8 that's back there. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's technically sponsored by Hobbywing Direct. And uh, I need to do that just so, because I'm going to go and ask them for some ESCs for the Troller Stroller. And uh, and I want to definitely finish that video uh, before asking them for anything, you know? Because it's like, oh, we sent you all this stuff and you didn't do anything. Well, that's one of the things. And, uh, and then, of course, the Porsche. The Porsche uh, is getting done very soon. Actually, I finally picked up some coat hangers and you're like, well, what the hell are you going to do with a bunch of coat hangers? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with a bunch of coat hangers. Uh, these are just going to be um, easy to bend uh, wire so I can just figure out the length and the curvature of everything in the body. So I get the length perfect and uh, sort of the sizing perfect. So when I'm actually uh, bending the, the welded steel rod, um, that's like pretty hard to bend, I have a good guide. And so this is gonna guide that, but that's sort of a little bit on the back burner only because I just didn't have a weekend. I wish I had a weekend. I did not have a weekend. What else we got uh, on the, you know, happening? The troller stroller, man, that troller stroller is gonna be insane. Can't wait, can't wait to do that. Um, we got the low C Baja Ray that I gotta go and catch some air with Nash. Cause like, I got a video that's almost done with that. I just need to get it out and get it flying through the air and tumbling and breaking some more. So that should be pretty uh, easy to do. And, uh, oh man, I'm sure I'm forgetting a whole bunch of, oh, of course, the Cletus McFarland neighbor build. That thing is uh, getting ready to just sort of ramp up. I already ordered the plaster of Paris that I'm going to use to make the little concrete dividers for the burnout pad. For the video because I got to prepare a burnout pad and make it look like you know like like a Cletus McFarlane 
burnout contest. It's got to be. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing. You know, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Also, I got that E30 that needs to get built, finished. And, uh, oh, and the Drift uh, Hilux. That thing's got to get done as well, which is up there. I'll, sh I'll whip it out a bit later. But that thing, I mean, unfortunately, the Drift track is closed uh, over here. And, uh, and until it opens, like, I mean, what am I going to do? I can't drift it on the hardwood floors uh in my apartment so that sucks but what's up jamie hope you're having a good tuesday the gridnack what's up buddy uh glad to have you here nash is totally into fly a baja ray uh, who wouldn't be uh yes bezenberry what's up man cheers to beers hope you're having a good tuesday and yeah troller stroller is happening it's uh i just gotta cut that truck in half it's gonna happen very soon i uh, just wish i had a weekend it just didn't end up happening um which sucks this weekend, though. This weekend, I'm cutting that truck in half. Should I grab it? I'm not going to grab it. Uh, cut that truck in half. The stroller is is ready to go. It's just outside of the studio right there in the hallway, getting in everybody's way. But, uh, but yeah, totally. Yes, Justin's building a drift truck and uh, scale engines. Man, I don't know. I You know, my... What you should just do is just buy a cheap 3D printer and then start making your own stuff for sure. Oh, you're intrigued. Uh, Brown Fight RC Fight Club. All right, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Excuse my fatness. This this guy right here. This this dude. I mean, I don't have the front anymore because I sent it to um, Guillaume. But uh, let's see. Let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, he looks. All right, let's see here. Uh, no, you want to see the actual thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so this is the uh, drift he looks. This is basically uh, brown rose. This is basically what we're going to probably raffle off for the next raffle. So just a heads up, dudes, if you guys super chat me $5, uh, at, for every $5 you super chat me, it will enter you into a draw to win this uh, cage and front bumper. And this cage and front bumper bolt directly to a uh, Secura D5 chassis. Um, and it's pretty, much, uh, it's pretty much ready to go. And it's super cool. Let's see, you can kind of see... Yeah, this is what it looks like. So, dudes, uh, if you super chat me, Five Bones enters you to win this cage and this bumper, and I'll send it to you, dudes. So, just a heads up, we're going to do another one of these. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that, you know, you, you dudes want, definitely want one of these. Like, you can't get the STL for this. We're holding on to the STLs for this for a little while before we offer it, uh, before Scale Addiction offers it for sale. Um, so we're just going to try to sort of like throw a few of these out into the wild and see what happens with, uh, with people and what they do with these. And, uh, hopefully we get to see some drift around some cool tracks. Uh, so it should be really cool. Antonio, I'm, uh, it'll happen, but it'll only be the STLs. Like I might do a, s a small run of these things, um, for sale. The only issue is that the fuse definition, definition printing is not the best printing. Like I'm not going to sit there and like spend like a hundred hours filling and priming these pieces to make, to get rid of the 3d printing lines that you can see here. You know what I mean? So like selling these things is difficult because, you know, I don't know, like what would I have to sell them for? And what do you think they're worth in order to, uh, to like not only make it profitable for me, but then so you don't feel ripped off because it's like a rough, you know, FDM fuse deposition printed model. You know what I mean? So like, it's like, maybe we just sell the STLs and you, you know, you do spend that money on getting a 3d printer and you print it yourselves. Um, that seems to be like the best thing to do. So that's why we're doing raffles for these things. And, uh, and I mean, I'm getting better and better at printing these things, right? It looks super cool. Uh, agreed. Um, oh, Hellbilly's in for 20 bucks. Yeah, dude, it's true. Uh, and then, so anyway, I'm, 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 you know, I'm getting better at 3d printing these things. Although, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, tree supports 
a little bit later in the 3D printing section, but um, I'm getting better at printing these things. Get They're getting smoother and uh, they just don't look as kind of crunchy, you know? Um, but yeah, but they're super, super cool. Um, and it's getting there, right? It's getting there. Like if we were to compare, you know, oh gosh. Uh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, hi, man, for sure. I, I, I'm going to talk a lot about that um, for sure. And uh, resin printing super sick, 10 scale, but uh, it can't print the cage. Like, I mean, you you know, I think uh, a resin printer to print this size cage is uh, is like 10 grand, right? It's a $10,000 printer. So, you know, but if you look closely at this one, this is the first few that I printed. You can kind of see how, how like where the support structures were, you know, it's quite, uh, it's just quite like, you know, crunchy and like just not, not very smooth. So working hard on uh, figuring out, you know, how to get the cleanest prints, you know, but like, unfortunately you can see, I did, I did have a layer shift uh, right here, you can see the layers shifted a little bit. Um, you know, so I'm still working on it. Uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. Oh man, Brown Rose, enjoy the drift track, man. So jealous. <laughs> so jealous, man. Go slide, man. You can watch these later if you want. Um, but yeah, let's see here. What else are you dudes saying? Yeah, Hell Billy, man. Thanks a lot, dude. Uh, always one of the the biggest contributors for these raffles and uh so i hope you win for sure brown rose yeah man hope you win too you know just how we do it mile high mile high you're up in the in the next raffle too man you're also another great uh, supporter plus your seats are going in the mail at the same time as six dents rc cars so expect that soon uh revis is here what's up buddy um yeah, man, uh, you can't find it all, uh, Guillaume, because uh, we're just not giving them away right now. We're just, I'm not going to give them away. <laughs> cheers to beers. Oh, God. All right. All right. Tony Jones. Cheers, man. Cheers to beers. Yeah. All right. Wicked. Okay. So let's, um, what else is on the docket, man? We're just flying along, which is, uh, yeah, maybe we should talk about the Gen 8. All right, let's talk about the Gen 8, because I got to get this Gen 8 out the door in, in terms of making a video, so so we can, uh, you know, I don't know, ask for free stuff from uh, Hobby Hobby Wing Direct. Man, I hope they, uh, they're they cool with it. By the way, dudes, if you guys are looking for ESC and motor combos or just motors or just ESCs, check out HobbyWingDirect.com and, uh, and use my discount code KpopRocks, and it will actually give you a pretty substantial um discount i say that because i'm like tr trying to get them to sort of support k-pop rc and then that way when i need a esc they got they got me and uh and you guys get a sick ass discount as well so what's up what's up drift, drift grace uh good to see you and oh yeah and the online hobby guys says to smash that thumbs up button yes you dudes are awesome thanks a lot uh, yeah, it'll happen, Antonio. It'll happen for sure. It's just, uh, it's going to happen way later. Like, basically, I think once I make a drift video of this thing running, and uh, and we also promote the hell out of uh, uh, Scale Addiction, we're going to do a whole, like, how this all happened. Like, I've been collecting footage since November about this build. And when it does get fully put together and it's drifting around a track and I get a, a you know a bunch of media with it and we use that to sort of like stir up you know get people excited about the STLs that's when we're gonna like uh, release them out so I don't know when that's gonna happen because unfortunately uh, I'm not a lazy ass but uh, but I got a lot of crap going on uh, especially at work right now man work has been crappy lately I mean it's I like my job it's just been crappy in terms of free time. What's up, Clint? Uh, yeah, man, that's two entries to uh, win, uh, you know, the cage. Just head up, heads up, it's just the cage, and it will be that this front um, Toyota Helix. Hilux? Helix. Helix uh, bumper that will come with, and, uh, and two seats, and sort of like 
I don't know if you can see it here. It doesn't come with the steering wheel. That's an axial steering wheel, but it comes with that like uh, steering column or whatever. So um, yeah, and it's pretty sweet because it also incorporates, you can't see it, but it incorporates a, a battery mount on the chassis as well. And uh, and it's pretty sweet. You just kind of have to, the only issue is you have to cut this, this like center piece on the D5. But, uh, but yeah, but the battery kind of holds it all together and it's actually kind of a sweet design. So, oh no, I'm glitching. Yeah, all right. You know, when it's, when I'm glitching, I just drink a bunch of beer. That's basically what's gonna happen. My internet's awful. Basically, uh, there's a couple living downstairs and one of them was gone and the internet was perfect. It was perfect. The internet was perfect for a month. And now it's starting to glitch out. God. Ah, glitch, glitch. I'm going to drink more beer. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, no, I can see it. We're 28K. That's not good. Well, there we go. Let me know when it's good. Let me know when it's good. Is it good? Give it a minute or two. All right, blame it on the juice. I'm just gonna keep drinking beer, and we'll talk about we'll talk about stuff. <sighs> it's the worst. I'm telling you, man, the worst. There's some seats right now, dude. Those seats are free STLs. You can find those uh, seats on Thingiverse if you search Recaro on Thingiverse. You'll find them. So they are a free design that you can, uh, you know, if you had a 3D printer, you could print those seats. So just a heads up, totally giving it a gear guy, man. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hopefully the internet, okay, no, the internet's probably back now. Oh God, it's the worst. I tried to get like my own internet. Like I tried to like call the providers and apparently because everyone's working from home right now, all of the nodes on my street are taken. So like, I can't even get my own internet connection into my apartment. I can't, cause like there are none available. Yes, Hellbilly, man. All right, I'm glad you asked. That's a good segue into the Gen 8. Let's do it. Let's get in here. Oh, Super Greg, man. Uh, there isn't... I, dude, man, I wish. there. Okay, so one one company made the Helix, Helix body, um, Lexan, and it's sold out everywhere, and I don't know if they're going to make another pressing. They're impossible to find. Some dude was selling a painted one on Facebook for like 200 bucks or something ridiculous. No. So unfortunately, buddy, no, you can't, you can't get the, the Helix body, which is too freaking bad. Anyway, let's, let's move on to the Red Cat Gen 8. Well, my internet's still working. Uh, dudes, heads up. If the internet just completely cacks out, um, just hang on and I'll, I'll, I'll make it back. It's just, uh, it's going to be annoying. Let's see. Yeah, man, I got, I mean, I got pictures of that thing for, on the scale is Shiza shout out. So we'll, we'll take a look at that for sure. Uh, I should probably turn this thing off. Uh, I should get that GMC Jimmy body from Pharma, Parma. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Jimmy's are sick. They're just short wheelbase. So it'd be like, it's sold out that fast. I bet they'll make more and a one in on the hyper inflated cash yeah for sure for sure anyway okay so here you can see you know i found this wicked pattern on uh, on the internet whatever i brought it into illustrator i vectorized i'm using all these vectorized words or whatever and i printed it out on my vinyl plotter which kind of sucks it sounds like a total robot and it's like super super loud when i'm when i'm cutting and uh it's very chinese it's not it's like a clone uh, vinyl plotter. So like it works, but it doesn't sometimes. Anyway, you can see here, this is me sort of testing it out. I think I showed you guys this last week and uh, this is me airbrushing just to sort of test out the colors and see what works and what doesn't and whether the vinyl I was using was good, which it wasn't. This particular black vinyl I had when I peel it away it would leave the adhesive. And so that's why I had to go with this baby blue stuff I had, which was just a higher quality vinyl. Here you can see I don't have a reducer. Oh, man, I'm going to rewind that for a second. I don't have like a, I ran out of thinner. 
So I'm using like pretty thick paint in my airbrush, which is like a big no-no. And uh, and this is why. So you can see, see the spattering there? That spatter is just straight from having way too thick paint in your airbrush. And unfortunately, I had nothing to thin it out with. I tried water, but then when water does is it like ends up creating fish eyes. So you can't use water. I tried using uh, rubbing alcohol, but on some of my paints, it would like coagulate it. You know, it would get all kind of gross. So it was a kind of a, a pain in the ass to get the body painted, but somehow I ended up doing it. I just kept like tapping the airbrush to get the sort of air bubbles out because it was forcing air back through the cup. I don't know if you guys know much about airbrushing. I don't. I don't know enough. So I, I just make stupid mistakes all the time, but it still ended up working out. These wheels. All right. So these wheels on Amazon for, for US are probably like 35 bucks US and they're completely aluminum. They come with uh, extra screws. Uh, none of mine had cross threading issues. Although I'm sure if you if you brought that screw in crooked, it would just like destroy this thing. But uh, if you're careful with these things and you, you know, the trick is to turn the screw backwards till it clicks. And then that's how you know it's seated on the threads. And then you start screwing it in and everything kind of worked out. And man, are those beautiful rims for, for like no money. Oh, Clint's saying Windex. Okay, I'll try that next time. Um, oh, no, uh, Justin. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, what's good, RC Stars, man? How are you doing? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, those, I mean, those rims are super sweet. I'm, I'm like just loving the look of that. Also, uh, on the recommendation of Nash's recommendation of going with the Super Swampers, super glad I did. I got the Super Swamper XLs, right? So these XLs are, uh, are bigger. They're on 1.9 inch rims, um, but they are like almost an inch wider in diameter. So they're just like a much bigger tire, which is what I was looking for because the 1.9s just didn't look right. And this just looks sick, right? Looks super good. Uh, yeah. And that Wraith cage fits perfectly. I mean, I had to cut the frame rails to sort of get it to sort of be stubby. You know, I want the wheels to, I want to be able to crawl up a wall basically. Like that's the goal of this particular uh, project is to just get the wheels as far forward as possible. And uh, here you can see, this is the vinyl I ended up using. It's just a higher, there's no reason it's blue. The only reason it's blue is because that's like the highest quality vinyl I had was like this baby blue. And uh, here you can see, I like got the, uh, got the pattern. Yeah, the pattern is totally sick. Uh, it reminded me of uh, the shining carpet, you know, the, the carpet, the kid on his big wheel, he's like running through the hotel. And it just kind of had this like, I don't know, sick vibe to it. So, you know, I went into Illustrator again, I found this cool skull and I added it into the design and I think it looks pretty, pretty sweet. Um, just loving it, man. It looks good. I had to do something. Vivian uh, from uh, SRC inspired me to sort of try to do a bunch more masking. And uh, I don't know if I, I would say I'm glad I did because it was a, like a lot, a lot of work you know, and it's a, it's a, just a del delicate process. So like, uh, yeah. And that totally is a nice, uh, room combo. Thanks a lot your guy. I appreciate you dude. Uh, right. It looks good, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, yeah. I'm just like, I just thought it was, I thought it would look cool. And I was going to go with the like orange, red and like yellow and black kind of theme from the shining. Uh, and I didn't, I don't know if I wanted to make it so loud. So I don't know. I have a little bit of regrets because like, maybe I shouldn't have gone orange on the sides. Like maybe I should have done like a way more, like just like a darker color. Like even if it was red, like a dark red backed with black might've been a little bit cooler, but man, hindsight though, I got to drink more beer. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see me like just like being super careful and I still didn't do like, it still isn't perfect. Like, uh, you know, what I learned about this paint job is if you're using vinyl, vinyl stretches a lot. So I should have used the heat gun more like at this stage before the paint, I should have hit the heat gun on that vinyl to get it kind of loose and then use my fingers to sort of push it into the wheel wells into like the spots that had the biggest, you know, sharpest bends. 
or whatever. And uh, and then that way the vinyl would have stuck all the way in. Cause like on some of the really sharp bends, um, the vinyl didn't get all the way in. So we got some kind of like shadowy kind of like spill under the vinyl from the paint. And, uh, and so, yeah, it wasn't as perfect. And also because I was using such thick paint, I had to use a lot of air to get that paint to move through the gun. And, uh, and that's another tip from Vivian, right? Was to uh, keep the air sort of gentle and the paint uh, not hitting the stencils so hard. Because if it hits the stencils really hard, that gives it the opportunity to sort of try to get in and around your stencil, which is kind of, a, uh, kind of an issue. Also, heads up, dudes! You guys can just buy vinyl, and you can cut you can cut your patterns out of vinyl with an exacto knife. You don't necessarily need a vinyl plotter to do this. You you can cut your own masks without you know the computer. Although with the computer, you can see, you know, it really it really makes the it really you know it does a good job. It's like it's a freaking computer. It does a good job, uh, and I think it's uh, super sweet. Yeah, I see like, okay, but then check out when I add the, the second color, like, does it take away from it? Is the, uh, <laughs> you know, is it, does it take away from that? I don't know. Totally. Red rum. Totally, totally, totally. Oh yeah. Super Greg saying red rum, red rum, orange and blue. Yeah, man. But the blue, like I, the blue is just the mask, right? So I didn't end up doing the blue, which maybe it was a mistake because it maybe would have been cool to have it that, that loud. Yeah, Hemistorm is a king of doing it by hand. I don't have that kind of patience. Um, but uh, I don't know. Wait, I think we passed it already. But I, I stole something from Hemistorm here where I, like, use an LED light underneath the body to sort of make sure that I was I didn't have any weirdness, you know? And, uh, and then I also, like, after peeling all of that stuff, uh, after painting black... I, I went with a paintbrush and I like fixed any issues with a paintbrush. Cause I was just like, you know, whatever, if I got a scratch, if, if it's scratched or whatever, then, uh, you know, uh, it's easy just to sort of like before the next color, just to like, you know, fix it with a, with a little brush worked out, worked out perfectly. And here's me, you know, peeling that plastic. Yeah. Black light is so key. I don't know if you guys are ever doing any masking on your drift cars, man. Get, get something to backlight the hell out of the body. You'll see overspray, which is a big one. All the, you know, like when I was a noob, I still consider myself a noob. But like when I was a real noob, you know, I was like, didn't even realize that I had overspray on some sections. And like overspray is really easy to get rid of if you've got, you know, some kind of thinner. Um, Tamiya has like a, a Lexan thinner that's really great at just sort of cleaning up between layers. But yeah, but it looks uh, looks super good. Yeah, man, uh, because um, Lexan paint costs seven dollars a can, and uh, and a little bottle of paint that will do three bodies for an airbrush costs like five bucks. So uh, cost effectiveness one is really great. Two, it's less toxic. So like when you can't like I mean I sprayed this body in the studio and uh, and I didn't die. You know, like I didn't have blood poisoning or whatever, um, which is great. And then, but, you know, to be fair, I did back this body with Tamiya Black outside um, just because I it's, I didn't have, um, with airbrushing, you, you can get these like sealers. And uh, and that's what they recommend is to seal seal the body with these sealers. I didn't have that. So I just hit it with Tamiya and, uh, and it looked pretty good. But you can see, you know, like you can see like right, right, right around where the bends are here. You can see like, like right around the sort of wheel wells. There's some areas that, that are just sort of like not great. The camera, I mean, hides a lot of crimes, which is quite nice. Thank you, camera, for hiding all this, all the crap B spots that I effed up on or whatever. All right, I'm done. Time to switch beers, bros. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Going to the old standby, the Woodhouse Woodhouse Lager. Yeah, the orange and the red look great together. Totally agree. Um, yeah. Oh, John's finding all the. Thanks a lot for figuring out all the issues with these things before I even take it out on the trail. 
John, you're saying I definitely need the updated axles, which I agree. The, the shock mounts for those axles are looking pretty weak. And now you're saying the seals inside the shocks just uh, just are shot. I don't know, I was even I was going to run them dry, man. Like I was even going to go for th- uh, softer springs. But uh, what's up, King Wally? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, well, let's, I just want to get mud on it and then <laughs> I don't have to worry about it so much looking good. But, uh, but yeah, I got to still shoot some beauty shots of it outside before it completely turns into a submarine, which is the plan. Yes. Cheers to beers. Thanks a lot, Antonio Ramirez, man. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to have some of your snacks in a second. Uh, run dry. Uh, no, I'm not. Dude, I'm telling you, this thing's going underwater, man. On the Kiwi, Kiwi Jet? I can't even... I think I know what that is. I don't know what... Refresh my memory, James. Can't remember. Yeah, right? Looks okay, right? I'm, I'm thinking it looks all right. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. All right. King Wally's got the drop in the knowledge. He's saying marine grease on the on the O-rings. I used to, you know, I've got a bunch of green slime, you know, the stuff that all the eight scale racers use on all their O-rings that kind of swell them a little bit. And uh, that's the stuff I, I use. This is with a blue light underneath, and I thought it just looked like pretty sick. So I had to like I had to show it off. I gotta drink beer. Right? Looks good. And like look at how much flex that body gets, eh? Good lord. Yeah, it looks really good. Always marine grease. Yeah, man, for sure. But yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I have this bumper on there, but like, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the bumper. You know, I kind of like it without the bumper. You know, here you can see it without the bumper. Wait, let's see where. Yeah, I like, take the bumper off before these shots. And there's just something about it looks good. But, uh, you know, the, the, the frame rails just stick out in a weird way. So we got to make a... Yeah, that is the Proline body, uh, Howie, man. That's the Proline body for sure. I, I don't know if you can find it anymore. I don't know if they're making it anymore because, like, I don't think the Wraith, this particular Wraith cage is that popular anymore uh, or that they even make it anymore. Like, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I just kind of found old stock at my local hobby store, and I just, like, picked it up. I just had to. But the video I'm making is going to be, like, kind of a comprehensive, like, budgeted build so it's gonna it's gonna have like a whole comprehensive just list of all of the things that i needed to have in order to make this um including you know including um a super super budget airbrush the amazon special this thing is like 35 us dollars this airbrush and uh, and it's pretty good. I mean, I have an Iwata, right? And and you know, um, the only thing I have to say is that this thing doesn't—you can't control the air, the amount of air going into the paint, um, which is fine because you can do that on the compressor usually. But uh, these, you know, this is thirty-five bones, and uh, it comes with three needle sizes, so you can get really fine lines, which I'm sure you're not going to be doing with. RC, you know, if you're, if you're masking stuff on RC, you're just kind of, you just want a paint gun basically. And, uh, and yeah, so I don't know, maybe, uh, down the road, I'll do a raffle for one of these. Cause like, you know, that where you just buy one, it's 35 bones. It's not that much, but the, I mean, uh, the compressor is still going to cost you some money. Um, but I mean, if you, if you're into painting RC bodies, uh, this thing will pay for itself. Um, two bodies worth of Tamiya spray paint will, will, will get you a good setup. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of worth it uh, for your lungs, you know. But, uh, oh, yeah, dude, I have that one. It's not as good. Uh, you know, to be fair, James is asking me. I had a, I've 3D printed a really big jet boat. Um, and, uh, and the problem with it being really big is that when it printed the um, – the hull kind of warped and then so i've just been kind of pissy about it and like um the thing about uh, this jet boat is that it's small and it's just like really good for small rivers and so that's kind of what's making me lean more towards this guy dude man there's really not much to it bro like i mean you know i would say the biggest airbrush skills you need are skills to clean the airbrush like you got to clean that airbrush. So you just got to figure out how to do it. Like, 
Um, you know, I watch Adam Savage a lot on Tested, and he uses an airbrush a lot. And just watching him and how he uses it, and how quickly he cleans it between, you know, paint, adding paint to it. It's just, uh, it's, it's really helped me out. He, he just lightly puts his finger on the front, uh, on the front of the airbrush and then pulls the back on the trigger and it forces air up into sort of this chamber and he puts a bit of cleaner and it, it just, it's just like, he gets it to agitate and man, uh, he gets it really clean without really putting it under the water, which is pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Oh, what am I doing? Oh no, don't let me do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I know it's, I mean, like anything though, you know, you do it a whole bunch of times and you get better at it, but I'm by no means good at it. So yeah. And, uh, Will's talking about how Harbor Freight's got a cheapo airbrush and, uh, yeah, you get a regulator between the airbrush and the compressor and you're golden. Uh, later RC stars, man, have a good rest of your Tuesday. Oh, ups. I don't know. That's how you learn, man. No problem, buddy. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. Okay, so, I mean, I haven't really done any fading or anything. Like, I haven't even played with that. I need a thinner. The, th the, the trick to, to getting an airbrush to work really well for you is to definitely have the right consistency of paint and... Um, According to that Adam Savage dude, it's got to be the consistency of milk. So if it's like milk, it's got to be watery, but still a little thick. And uh, and that's how you know, how, how do you get it? How you get it to do what you need to do? What's up, RC Voodoo? Uh, and King Wally's self-deprecating. Yes, online hobby guy. This is, it's, it's all about prep and cleaning out materials. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm learning that. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I'm learning that for sure. Yeah, and just cleaning, man. It's cleaning that brush is so hard. Link to the airbrush. Uh, I'll, I will. I'll send it to you, man. I, I kind of have a feeling that if you just go on Amazon and search airbrush, you will find it. Um, the thing about this one, and I think it's it shows in the, in the image on Amazon. I'll show it to you later when we go when we do the Instagram. I'll find it on uh, when we do the uh, SAS shoutouts. I'll find it for you. The cool thing about this is it's got three cups, which kind of made me want to get this one because it's got a big cup. And uh, and for like the stuff that I'm going to be doing with the Porsche, I'm just I don't want to be filling the paint all the time, so this might work out better. I don't know. And it also comes with a five millimeter um, needle, which means that that it should probably have a bigger spray pattern, which uh, might be the other way around. I'm sure Gear Guy could let me know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the rattle can's cool. It's just like, you know, it's like you know, that 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 gets you effed up, man. <laughs> I can't do it in here, man. I don't have a I don't have a well ventilated air like I just don't I hear I can open my window with the airbrush. It'll it'll just pull it through the through the, you know, but with the Tamiya, man, my eyes like are burning. It's like stinky even when I shoot it outside and bring it in, it just starts off gassing. That stuff is quite noxious. Anyway, we should, we should talk about these bumpers because, like, we're going to design some bumpers, I think. Yeah, so this is what I think I'm going for to design the bumper for the uh, for the Gen 8. Um, if you look here, this is a similar one. It doesn't look as good. This one looks pretty sweet, I think. Um, yeah, like, I don't know about these Aries ones, but um, that one looks pretty cool. Let's, let's, let's zoom in on it. It's got to be stubby because, like, I got a lot of steering angle on the Gen 8, and I don't want the tires to rub. And then, funny enough, the company that made that bumper, I don't know if it's this bumper or this bumper. No, it's not. It's this bumper. Yeah, so the company, anyway, one of the companies, idiots, right? They freaking posted this on their for sale. I'm like, why would you do that? You just gave somebody a template to make your bumper out of steel like you now like you could just this is flat you could just <laughs> print this out with a freaking photocopier scale it up to the right size cut it you know photocopy it 
and then trace it out on steel and then like plasma cut or like angle cut this stuff out. You know, you got to break, you know, you got one of those breaks. You could easily make this bumper. I don't know why they did that, but I was like, oh man, okay. At least this kind of shows you in 3D. All right. So this is what it would look like origami if you flattened it out, you know, like this is like the flat mold. I'm not doing this one, but I just thought it was funny. And, uh, <laughs> and I thought I'd show you guys all this stuff or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the comments are a little bit behind. Maybe the internet's being crappy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, uh, Voodoo, I'm not going to, I don't need D-ring mounts, so I'm not going to do D-ring mounts, but I'm, I just need a bumper so that when I hit stuff, um, it'll take the brunt of it. And if it shatters and breaks into a million pieces, like, I could care less because I could just print another one, you know? In fact, like, what's great about 3D printing is I'll probably end up printing two of them and have one in the spares. So, like, if I do break it, I can just, like, on the trail, swap it out if I want. But, uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'm thinking this one is super sweet. I like this one a lot, but, uh, it's still too wide. Like it can't be that wide. I got way bigger tires than this Jeep does. Um, so I don't, I don't want them to dig in to the bumper when I steer. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one is the sweetest one. So we're going to do, we're going to do this one in SketchUp, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, it's pretty like, I'll show you in a sec. Actually, I'll, I'll go grab it. I'll grab it right now. All right. So Nash is saying to lop off more. I, I agree. And I'm probably going to have to do it. So you can kind of see there's these like two holes. There's two holes there and there. So it'll screw to that. I'll probably end up cutting this thing flush. I did an angle to be sort of fancy pantsy, but I'll, I'll probably end up just cutting it flush to the back there. So, uh, so the bumper will screw into these holes and it'll just sort of cap off there. I don't know if you guys can see, you know, what we're working with here. Um, and it needs a bumper, uh, Natch, because like I need to sort of protect the steering, a servo horn from like, just getting knocked around too, too much. So, so that's kind of like, uh, that's kind of the idea what I'm going for. And the whole idea too, is to like, make sure that it doesn't stick out further than the tire. Cause I want it to be able to crawl up a wall if it needs to. And, uh, and yeah, that's what it looks like by the way, dudes, uh, me holding it up in front of the camera. Yeah. I like it. And then the whole issue is like, I might end up having to cut the, the body a little bit, but you can see how little room I have to work with. So, you know, of course you got to whip out your digital calipers. Of course, these are key. If you don't have one of these, this is another great Amazon buy. I don't know if you necessarily need to get uh, a really expensive one, but, you know, because like, you know, it's not like, you're not like checking like, lash or anything on like anything mechanical it's going to explode if it's not proper like if it's off by one you know one thou who cares but anyway so these are like 30 bucks or whatever you know you can get cheap plastic ones even that are super light um anyway so I'm just going to measure these holes so we figure this out because um that's going to suck if i get that wrong <laughs> yeah here we go all right, 67.5 millimeters. I got to write that down because I'm going to forget it. Mary G. Memory. 65, 65, 60, what? I already forgot. Oh, boy, dudes. I'm, I'm not doing too well. 67.5. All right, I'm just writing it down because I can know. Then I got to kind of know what the, like, max is. So I'm thinking, like, max size... It's got to be probably, oh man, this is me holding it up, trying to show you dudes what's up. Oh yeah, that's too much. Let's do 90, 90 mils. I'm doing it in millimeters because it's easier for my brain because that's how I grew up. Can't get the inches, man. I don't get the whole 12 thing. Don't get it. I just don't get it. We just don't want to get it. I don't know. Drink up, Buttercup. All right. It's true. Two. Is that two? 
doing it. Bam. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Russell's got the same caliper. Yeah. Uh, there is. Um, the issue is that, like, because it's um, they've got a pan hard bar, so, like, if you change the angle of the pan hard bar, then uh, when you get big flex in the in the um, suspension, the steering can start to do wonky things. So you just kind of have to make sure the relationship between the pan hard bar and the steering linkage is similar. I think the angles have to be the same. That's probably the only thing. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm, like, not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Uh, and I'm going to probably just run it stock until I realize that it's crappy and I got to change it. But, uh, oh, Antonio's too. All right. All right. This is going to be rough in SketchUp. Here, I'm going to, I'm going to actually switch to SketchUp. We're going to see what, uh, what we can do here. Share screen, share screen. All right. All right. Oh, heads up. That's the, that's what goes with this cage. Um, which I'm just trying to create a sort of a generic uh, cage for like generic chassis so that it would fit on multiple chassis and not have to be on a D5. So that's what prints goes underneath this. And then you can <clears throat> create your own mounting holes to your own chassis or whatever. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get a new one going. Save changes. Nah. All right, all right, all right, this dude there. All right, so with SketchUp, all right, there's a few things. I don't know if you guys are, like, following along to learn SketchUp. You're probably not. It doesn't matter. But uh, there's one thing you got to do with SketchUp and uh, in model info. You got to, like, um, just change the precision because it can't be millimeter precision. We're, we're like, we're going to do, like, a one-tenth tenth of a millimeter. I mean, you guys are probably – I don't know if you do inches or what. It doesn't matter. But you just want to make sure that you've got, like – a lot of precision because like I'm gonna be doing half millimeters here so you gotta make sure to change this otherwise I'm screwed all right so oh god the beer it's the beer all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a line that is the distance between the two uh, mounting holes that I need right and that was 67.5 so you know I just typed 67.5 you can see in the bottom right corner I hit enter and now I've got my line that is 67.5 millimeters from end to end. And now I'm going to add uh, some circles. These are the circles that the screws are going to go into. Um, we're going to, uh, you know, usually when you're using like M3 bolts, I find that it is uh, 1.25 millimeters. It's a safe bet. I'm going to do that. Uh, 1.5. 45 millimeters. Um, this is the diameter. It's not the diameter. It's this is the right. No, not the radius. This is just like, hold on. If I was to measure this line from here, from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle, it's 1.25. So the actual circle is two and a half millimeters. I'm boring, probably boring the crap out of you dudes. I'm going to drink some beer. Let's see here. Coolstream did not get to stay for. Oh, it's all good. Well, good times, man. Good times, bro. Later, James. Uh, what's up, a low rider madness? We're making bumpers. So this is just sort of the hole from from hole to hole um, for my bumper. And now we got it. We know it's got to be like ninety millimeters. So what's half of ninety? Half of ninety is forty-five. So I'm gonna go to the center. What's cool about SketchUp is that it's sort of like snaps to center so i'm gonna go from the center and i'm gonna draw out and i'm gonna type 45 millimeters because that's half of 90 i know i don't want my my bumper to be longer than 90 millimeters so that's why i cut it in half so now we've got uh you know we we've got sort of the edges of our bumper um this the height of the bumper is probably going to be important so uh let's see here Let's see here. So we're, we're talking the height of the bumper. Um, I probably, let's see. It's got to be like, uh, yeah, let's do 25 mils, so 25 millimeters. Mm, it's hard to say. Mm, it's got to cover that a little bit. So we're going to go 10, 10 below. 
Okay. Sorry, dudes. I'm like, this is this is all happening in my brain all at once, and uh, of course, I'm uh, I'm drinking beer. So, okay, so we're gonna do 15 millimeters down from from the center of this hole, right? 15 mils, 15 millimeters. We're gonna go down from here, 15 millimeters. So that's gonna be the bottom of the bumper. We know that, and then from the bottom of the from the, from the middle of that hole to the top of the bumper. We need to measure that. So, uh, and I'm just kind of doing it roughly because whatever, 12 mils. We can tweak it later, but uh, we're just trying to get get it to where we need it. 12 millimeters. It might look stupid, and I might change these proportions um, because let's be real, this might look like crap, and uh, and we might have to fix some stuff. So already, it kind of looks a bit weird. Um, like maybe that bottom has to go down just a little bit more. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just grab that bottom line and just bring it down like, I don't know, three mils, it's fine. And then maybe we won't go so, so high up on the front, nine mils. Hard to say. Yeah, let's do 10 mils, not 12 mils. That's how we'll do it. I'm just going to make a square or like a rectangle, right? Because like it, everything kind of needs to be sort of made into geometrical shapes. Uh, and then you kind of whittle away from those geometrical shapes. So, so that's sort of the plan there. Uh, all right. Like, Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm uh, like, I like to sort of like iterate, iterate my designs, right? So I like to sort of like, if I f this one up here, I've got this one right here to come back to. And uh, let's see what else you saying. Twelve millimeters, one inch in bald eagles. Nice, good to know, Christian. What's up, buddy? Uh, let's see here, inch and a half. <laughs> Hashtag educational. I'm trying, man. I should be drinking more beer. See how inc incoherent I can get. If you guys emoji me a little beer icon, I'll drink some. I'll, I'll take a drink. But uh, don't get me too drunk, man. We gotta do a we gotta do a raffle soon. So don't don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Um, all right. So let's do what we're we got. That these things have to go through the design. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm, I'm thinking like that. What is that? 19, 22, so let's do 19. 20. We'll do 20. Um, all right, so this length here is 20 mils. Um, and then from here up to here is just sort of the center of that line. That's how we're gonna do it, I think, for now. And if it doesn't look right. We will fix it a little later. The top is straight. We'll keep it straight. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, all right. So let's see what we can do here. How am I going to tackle this, dudes? That's the question. Let's, uh, let's grab this whole thing. And uh, if you hit control while hitting this move button, it will just like duplicate itself. And uh, if you hit the arrow keys, it'll like constrain to an axis. So if I hit up, so now it's just gonna constrain to the up axis. And if you look at the bottom right corner, it kind of tells you how far away that's going. So like, maybe we'll do like, I don't know, 10? I'm thinking 10, 10 millimeters, like a full centimeter. So, so now I've got kind of that bumper action going on here. I'm going to get rid of all this for now. Uh, oh, man. This is going to be hard. Uh, that's, that's what she said. All right, let's do it. I'm just leaving the holes because I'll figure out the holes all the way through for the screws later. I'm not really too concerned about that. I just need to know where they are on that bottom layer. And then we'll, we'll figure that out later. But um, but it also looks like like there's a fold here, right? So uh, I'm probably just talking gibberish, and you dudes are getting super bored. And all there's 50 of you dudes watching. It's crazy. All right, we're gonna go four mils. Four mils should do five. Halfway. 
No. Three mils. Let's do three mils. Three mils. See how it's green? So that constrains to the green axis. So I can make things longer than they have to be, and then you can just erase them. It just makes things easier to sort of like figure out, you know? And uh, I can just grab this surface and then use the arrow tool, this like move tool, and hit control and see how it has that little plus. There's a little plus there. Um, that's going to, you know, duplicate it. And I'm going to put it right on that corner. There we go. We've got we've got two pieces. Oh my god. I, I'm having too much beer already. Oh my god, Rizzle. You bastard. What have you done? What have you got? What have you got me into? Come on. Again, I'm getting a scholarship? What? Thank you. Thank you. Uh all right, boys. Let's see. King Wally's out. Uh, all right, man. Later off, dude. Enjoy. Enjoy. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, so we got those two. They are ready to go. Um, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. Actually, you can. All right, so you can see here, this is the bumper that I'm going for, right? So... You can kind of see like where I'm going. This is obviously way too, way, way, way too long. So like maybe if I, I find the halfway point, I don't know if halfway is good. We'll see. So that's half of it. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. I think we should do half of it. I'm gonna get rid of this, and uh, and I think we're we're in a like a better ballpark. And I, I also kind of feel like this whole whole section this whole plane has to move down a little bit so we're gonna move it down a little bit there um all right so now we're gonna like make these make it look more like a freaking bumper because right now it doesn't look like anything um let's measure it out though see here five mils no it's gotta be more than five uh seven mils let's do seven mils seven mils constrained to the green axis I can probably get rid of this and, uh, and now I can just sort of connect these two planes right like that. Boom. All right. So we say seven mils from here to here, we go seven mils, boom, draw it down. Now we just erase this BS because whatever. And, uh, and to be real, I should have probably just made one half of this bumper and then I could have just copied it and mirrored it. And then it would have been, uh, it would have been half the work, <laughs> man. Cause you, you gotta always work smart, not hard. And uh, I've got a problem with that. Cause sometimes I end up just working way too hard. Um, all right, but we're, we're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. Let's see what happens when I connect here to here. And, uh, and here to here, right? We're getting there, we're getting there. And then from here to here, and uh, here to here. Boom. All right, so now we've got something that looks kind of like a bumper. No? That looks pretty freaking good, right? Cheers to beers. Gridnack knows. Gridnack knows. Later, Lowrider. Oh, no, I, it's okay, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't need to, cause I, I'll, I'll just make, I'm gonna make these like basically on the back here. I'm gonna like make like a rectangle, you know? So the rectangle will go like this. I mean, I should probably measure this and then I'll like push it out. Right. And then that will go into the frame rails. Uh, but we're not there yet. Uh, redo. Uh, why? Of course. All right. So you know what? It's weird though. I still kind of feel like, still kind of feel like it's too fat. You know, it's a little bit, little bit too fat. All right. So uh, let's just grab this line and just move it up some more. Cause I, I don't think, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That looks, that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. Nice. And then if you look in the center of this freaking thing, 
it's got a hole for a winch, which might be kind of a cool sort of like detail. So like if I find the middle of this and I find the middle of that, then I can kind of like figure out eight mils. Maybe eight mils is too much. No, it's not eight mils. Come on, eight mils. All right, wicked. Two mils. I might even go further. That doesn't look right at all. What the fuck? All right, let's see here. That's eight mils. That wasn't eight mils. Stupid thing. Eight millimeters. All right, we should we should move on. I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I feel like uh, I'm just going to bore the hell out of you dudes. So, like, let's not, let's not overdo it. There we go. And then, like, I kind of want to figure out if I were to extrude these out, like where they would sit on that line. Cause like, I feel like they'll go right in between. Yeah, see, that's a problem. So we got to figure this out too. Um, I'm just trying to keep it flat, right? Cause I need that, I need somewhere for that screw to sit. And like, it can't be halfway through this sort of like angle here. You know what I'm saying? Cape up here in K-pop's laboratory. Yeah, man. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Uh, Self-taught here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but we'll see what happens. We're going to go one millimeter from here. We'll stay on the green axis. One millimeter from here. We'll stay on the green axis. Um, and then, like, what's the distance? Oh, wait. You know what? We'll do the other side first so that we can, like... Uh, I don't know, keep things consistent. Green axis. Uh, let's see here, one mil. Where were we? One mil. Green axis, all right. I'm telling you, you guys will know what the hell I'm doing in a second, I promise. Uh, all right, wicked. Let's get rid of that. All right. Boom. All right. Let's see if we can get rid of this without it doing weird things. It totally did weird things. All right. All right. All right. All right. SketchUp sometimes does really bizarre stuff, and uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like a master like uh, scale addiction of these things. So like. Uh, like, for example, when I did that, it just decided to be weird. So I'm just going to, like, um, intersect all uh, of the geometrical shapes with one another. So now, hopefully, when I delete stuff, yeah, see? When I delete stuff, it's all kind of together. And uh, and that's the idea. See? Now we've got a hole going all the way through. Uh, although, see? It does weird stuff like this. Maybe, uh, hopefully, Scale Addiction's on here. Uh, I don't know why it decides to be weird like this, and then I gotta like fix all these weird issues with loft or whatever it's called uh, to use technical terms. Um, but yeah, here you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna. I'm almost finished, dudes. If you, all the dudes that are like super bored watching me do this, uh, I apologize. See what I'm saying? I should done it one side. I did it one side, I could have just copied the same side and then mirrored it, and then I wouldn't have to do this twice. So really, this is me being kind of a dummy and doing it twice. Like, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? All right. Oh, wait, wait, we should get rid of this. All right. All right, I'm going to get rid of this because fine. And then uh, there's a plugin for SketchUp that like makes sure to fix all of its. It just fixes everything, you know, kind of. Uh, so now we're kind of in a good spot. Um, so like Nash was saying, like I gotta cut, I gotta cut the frame rails straight so I can figure out how this bolts on. So what I'll end up doing later with this is I'll uh, I'll end up just like extruding out, you know, like a like a chunk that fits in the frame rails, and then this will kind of extrude out, you know uh like that you know and then that will bolt the bolt will go through into the bumper you know what i'm saying like it's not gonna be this long um 
Actually, I can kind of show you dudes better. It's probably going to be like that long. And then that, that'll be the bumper, right? That looks pretty good. Oh, God, what have I done? That looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, that's like a super sort of uh, beginner's guide to what SketchUp can do. Uh, I mean, it just takes a lot of like uh, work to just sort of get it to do what you want it to do. SketchUp, especially the free SketchUp. Uh, oh, still better than a build live. Wicked. All right, cool. You guys are liking it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, man, Antonio, do it, man. It's, I mean, it's free. Like just, uh, bug me on Instagram. If you can't find the downloadable version, there's like, don't get the web version. There is a, uh, SketchUp version called SketchUp make, and that's the one you want to get so you can download it and then you don't have to be on the internet to use it or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, you all nice. You guys are like, yeah, I know you guys are into it. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's super fun. Anyway, let's uh I'm gonna stop sharing this thing. We're gonna share my other screen uh here with audio, and then we're gonna do other stuff because like what else are we gonna do? Um yeah, so I'll show you guys next week how that bumper turned out. Cause like I'll print out that bumper and uh and you guys will like totally see what's up. And also that this section will probably um also end up a little bit of it will end up in the actual video, so uh, you guys can be excited about that. What's up, uh, RC Garage Garage? I put a little bit of you. Yeah, uh, just stay tuned. It's great. Um, let's see here. It's your stream. All right, man. I should probably... No one's telling me to drink beer. So I should probably drink more beer. What time is it? 10.51. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's not... You know, it's not crazy. But uh, but it looks pretty cool. I think it will. Uh, I think it'll. I think it'll work out. I just want something like super minimal. Like I just don't want it to look like it does, like it does now. So with that bumper on here, it should look pretty sweet, and it should protect that. See how that steering servo kind of sticks out? I don't want that. So we'll kind of like fix that or whatever, and uh, and it'll be super neat. And uh, yeah, and that's just another reason to get a three D printer because like. Look, man, I 3D printed that. Um, if you look really close, oh no, I can't, can't really see it. There's a receiver box. Oh gosh, I'm trying to show you guys. There's a, uh, oh my god, there's a receiver box right there that I like mounted as high as I could, and then I also glued the receiver to the top of the receiver box. So even if the receiver box gets a little bit of water inside, it would have to completely fill up to get water to the receiver. And then I also kind of glued it in place with Shugu. So this thing's gonna be a submarine. Uh, I don't know how well this servo, this servo is gonna work, but uh, I don't know. We'll run it till we'll send it till it melts, and uh, and uh, yeah, I should be pretty excited. Oh, everyone's telling me to drink Besenberry, man. Oh God, everybody. Okay, so Nash one, Gear Guy one, Besenberry. Oh God, it's cool, man. I'm not driving. Rizzle, Rizzy. Oh. Ironclad RC is building a uh, is building a wraith on his channel, so uh, dudes, go check him out. Uh, I don't know if I'm subscribed to you, Ironclad. I will write it down uh, to you know keep keep growing the community. I gotta learn a bit more. I mean, I guess the only thing that's on my wraith there is the wraith cage. This thing is a. It's a Red Cat Gen 2 with the portal axles. I think you can see them there. Uh, this is just pretty much, very much a crawler. It's not going to... I mean, John's probably uh, the Behringer of bad news with it. I'm assuming that the first thing that's going to happen is that my, my axles are going to break. Second thing that's going to happen are my shocks are going to weep. Totally, uh, totally going to happen for sure. Um, but yeah, but it, you know, to upgrade the axles, it's $15 front, $15 back. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't break the bank too bad. That's what I kind of like about the gen eight is that, uh, you know, it's just like, 
it's just cheap. It's cheaper. And, uh, and I'm, I'm into that because, like, I, you know, I already have an Axial, and I, I wanted to have two crawlers uh, so I can rip it with my nephew uh, this summer. And, uh, and I'm hoping it works out. Hoping it works out. Oh, look, Nash subbed up to Ironclad. Wicked dudes, if you're watching, you guys want another cool channel, check out Ironclad. Let's see here. What are you saying? The not sure if you knew the father of SRC RC Garage is into. Oh no way! I don't like. Wait, you mean uh, you mean Vivian from SRC online hobby guy? Are you talking about Vivian? What's up, Seth? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Oh, nice. Uh, Guillaume uh, subbed to Ironclad as well. Oh, you did treal parts. All right, so they're more expensive, I'm assuming, John. You got to send me links, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, the TRX is a really good platform, Gridnack. Like, I just didn't want to spend, like, uh, like six bills on my crawler, so I just, like, found this Gen 8 version 1, and it was, like, 100... I think U.S. it's got to be like 150 U.S. dollars just for the chassis, you know. And then I got the Amazon special rims for like 35 U.S. dollars, right? I got the motor and ESC combo from, um, you know, Hobbywing Direct. And with my discount code, that's pretty cheap. I think that's already kind of almost under 100 U.S. dollars just for the motor and ESC, and it's super sweet and super quiet um the radio gears like another 45 bucks like i'm just trying to keep it under uh under five bills but also like you know customize the hell out of it in you know sort of in the way that i want it to look which is pretty sweet yeah uh how do you upgrade the mdmd 90 i don't know what the mnd 90 is Oh, sweet four in one mix. Yeah, man, I gotta keep. Man, I gotta figure out how to mix for the troller stroller. But uh, but anyway, let's let's move on, man. Cause like we got stuff to do. All right, so we did. Oh right, let's talk about three D printing, dudes. All right, cause we're kind of we're kind of there, kind of there. Yeah, let's. Okay, this is funny. All right, so the three D printer that I'm always telling people to buy is the Ender Three by Creality. And uh, Creality is just coming out with their new 3D printer. And this is the promo video that they posted. And uh, to me, it's really funny. Uh, yes. This girl totally 3D prints, bros. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that box. How is it not kicked in on one side? What, what carrier is that? That's not FedEx. Look, she's so excited. And also, look at those pillows, dude. CR10 Smart with innovative modular design allows innovative. a six step assembly process. Yes. You can finish assembling within eight minutes. Eight minutes, guys. Somehow I don't believe them, but. Oh, they even have a little. They have a little tray. 4.3 inch full viewing angle touchscreen and the brand new UI. You can enjoy a hassle-free leveling process and instant printing after initial auto leveling is. But seriously, all the cre Creality printers have been missing this feature for a really long time, and uh, and this is the stuff that the Prusa, Prusa, Prusa printers have had for a while now, and it is like a force feedback um, leveling system. And what it does is it just sort of creates a grid on your on your print bed, and it figures out itself how to level, and uh, that's a huge thing because right now with the Ender threes, you need to find that level yourself, and uh, and it it's a, it's a pain. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a pain for sure, for sure. But, uh, but hold on, let's see what you're saying. Cheesy, dude, man, it's hilarious. Just wait till you see the dude. It's hilarious, man. <laughs> oh wait, I should play. Okay, Here we go. you can easily slice three D models. Remote control your printers whenever and wherever with your phone. I don't know, maybe because I'm not a millennial, like I'm not tied to my phone all the time. Like I don't care. Oh yes, my favorite line. This is the best. Elegant design inspired by supercars. Inspired by supercars, bros. The magical combination of aesthetics and technology. What? 
That's the first thing I did when I printed printed something on my printer, man. It was straight up for my golden retriever. It matched my pillows. What? Wait, look at this dude. Yes, man bun. They're like, we need, a, we need like a white dude with a man bun. He's got to look Nordic. For sure. Hey, I made you some coffee. Thanks. Look at this sweet, sweet 3D printer. Will dim when it's being inactive for 30 minutes to save power. <laughs> oh my God! You know, it's just something I never thought I would see in a uh, 3D print video. Is just like a dog playing catch. You are always able to control your 3D printer, even when you're not physically present. Anyway, but on like in all seriousness, this is quite a sweet printer. It's just the promotional video is quite garbage, which is hilarious to me. Just show what it can do, you know? Like, come on. <laughs> do you think they told him to wear the yellow sweater so it would match the yellow couch? Think that happened there? Also, do you think this dude skateboards? Nope. <laughs> oh yes, another favorite feature. I don't know why they had to they had to show this in the video, but like strengthens triangle structure turns a super stable Oh no, that's fine. Reality. Forget about the darkness. The built-in LEDs allow you to monitor the progress of your prints, even if the light in the room is off. Our patented quiet 32-bit motherboard, low noise power. That's pretty good. I mean, 32-bit is like key. Um, I mean, it had the Ender 3 Pro has a 32-bit controller board. What it allows uh, the steppers to step even more, like it, it just ends up using, uh, or just making less noise for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, this is funny too. The cooling fan visualization. Oh man hilarious anyway i thought it was cool you can see uh right now it's for sale on the creelty website um it's pre-order and uh it's four it's like 500 bills us which is pretty decent for self-leveling it's half the price of a prusa and uh and the the pre-order for the us version uh, us plug is sold out but i thought it was really funny that they also have a canadian option it's like look here oh wait here i'm gonna rewind it a little bit there all right, so these are all the options. U.S. is sold out, but Canada, CA, is not. And uh, and it's funny because the CA, Canadian plug, is very much the same as the U.S. plug. So if you dudes are looking to buy, a, you know, spend five bills on a 3D printer, you could just order the CA one, and that would be the right plug. But, uh, but it's pretty sweet. Um, I think the only, you know, what are you saying here? Yeah, let's see. What are you guys saying? What a douchebag. <laughs> uh, it's an updated version. It I don't know how up like it, it has self leveling, right? So that you need some kind of sensor. Um, the Prusa uses a pin desk sensor. It's this like um, it's almost like a magnetic sensor that senses the distance with uh, some kind of like magnetic field, which is pretty sweet. I'm assuming that's the one that Creelty uses. Um, but uh, it's a huge game changer. If if uh, if you're gonna update your 3D printer, um, self leveling would be just like it would be worth it. It would, that that alone would be worth this whole machine. It's just the self leveling or whatever. Yeah, bro, dude, we're on the same grid, man. We're attached to you, dudes. Um, we share power. Our our power is your power. When we had the blackout of like what was it, 2001 or something, 2004. That crazy blackout that took out New York, that went all the way up into Canada. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Anyway, I thought I thought it would be cool to sort of check it out. And uh, and then also uh, heads up, just because we're on the topic of three D printing, um, I'm starting to play a lot more with Cura with the Prusa printer. This is a different slicer. This is like a. I'm pretty sure it's an open source a slicer for 3d printing and what's cool about it is that it's you know it's ever evolving it's evolving a little bit quicker than the prusa one because the prusa one they really test everything and with the uh, cura it's like oh you want to try experimental stuff well it's in this menu and uh 
for a while, this particular option was an experimental option, but now it is one of the options for supports. What's super cool about it is that uh, they have a support called Tree, and what it does is it uh, creates supports that are like very like organic looking. They look like roots, roots in a tree. They um, yeah, they like uh, they they're not like rigid, square. They're not zigzaggy. They're not rectangular. They look like I mean, you can see on this uh, on this video here. Um, you can see like the cage is in there. This this is the cage that I printed, right? So you can see that the organic prints, the tree supports sort of like grow out of the ground in a really weird way, and uh, it not it saves a lot of material. So um, it's got to be like sixty percent less material to print using tree supports, and also it cut the time down in half. So this freaking cage only took me about six and a half hours to print, where usually it would have taken me around 12. So with way more material. So this is super cool. And this is a, a slicer that you can use with Creality printers. So, oh my God, everybody. Oh, Jesus. You, I get talking and you guys are like, drink. All right, all right, all right, all right. Another one. All right, Gridnack, I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. All right, online hobby guy, don't worry about it, dude. Uh, I might be. Oh wait, dude, you. Oh, I'll let you know if you win the the jet boat. Beamer, Dave, what's up, buddy? You're having a good Tuesday. Uh, is this? Does this come from Vine? Is this like a Vine thing? Did I just like totally miss out on a whole generation of memes? Like, is did this happen? I don't know. Only drink. <laughs> All right, wicked. I'm gonna drink beer because this is uh, this is for my people. Lech, let's do it. Let's drink it. All right, uh, what else are we doing? Let's let's keep moving. Oh man, should we do the raffle? Dudes, should we do the raffle? Is the question. Yeah, man, maybe. Gridnack, man. I mean, you just should. Like, if you're just like into that sort of stuff, then why the hell not, man? It's not. They're not that expensive. And I'm assuming with this new one that came out, the you know the Ender Three Pros are probably going to drop in price as well, which is pretty pretty good. Pronies, pronies are better. It's true. No, I don't know. Actually, Pronies are a tasty beer, but uh, but I like my Lech, and I also have uh, I also have some Stiegs. So you know the variety of life, uh, Rob. The variety of life. Uh, jet boats. Everyone. Oh, time for snacks. No, you know, let's do the freaking, let's do the, we'll do snacks after. Because I'm going to get more and more drunk. And then if I get really drunk and I got to do a raffle, it's going to be hard. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now I should say, don't leave it in the sun. Yeah, don't leave this boat in the sun. Actually, what I'm thinking is um, on, in the instructions, it talks a lot about um, using a lacquer, like a lacquer to uh, to cover the boat which is uh, something I would recommend you guys do, the winner to do, is to uh, cover this thing, protect it. Because uh, heat is not your friend with uh, with PLA. It's gotta get pretty hot to do, to, to warp, but um, but it is a sweet, sweet boat. And uh, we should talk about it a little bit before I do the raffle. Let's get into the jet boat segment. All right, dude, so this uh, month's raffle is the uh, jet boat made by Stefan Muller. He designed quite a robust um, platform. The raffle, not only do you win the, all the three, 3D part components that you need to make this boat a reality, but I'm also sending you the STLs and the instruction files. So it's basically I bought this these STLs for you and now you own them. And uh, and the cool thing about that is if you do end up owning a 3D printer or if you have one already, uh, you can print any parts 
that you need to. You can print it again. You can fix it if you need to. You can do whatever you want to do. So um, that's what's cool. And uh, what's super cool about this particular boat and why I think it's better than any other boat that is uh, that you know that's 3D printable is the dual stage uh, um, prop. Inside there is two props. And those props prime like that. They prime so fast. And uh, as, a, as a person who's been playing with NQD boats for, for a while now, I can tell you that when the NQD loses prime, you have to let off the throttle or it'll just rev to the moon and you'll never get any propor propor propulsion. So this guy, you can see how fast. So this is the single setup, right? You can see how it's not. So this is a single prop. And then this is what a dual prop looks like. It just immediately primes and uh, and that's awesome. Another super sick feature of this boat is that it is a self-riding boat. So, you know, if it does flip over, there's a chamber that slowly fills with water and in 10 10 or 15 seconds, it'll flip over. So just a heads up, dudes, if you do super chat me five bones, um, I will enter you into a raffle. Uh, all proceeds to that raffle go right back into the channel and the channel um, needs it because uh, we're, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff and, uh, and it's like I'm hemorrhaging money pretty badly. I do not make enough money in ad revenue to sort of sustain myself. Uh, ask, ask my, uh, oh man, the beer. Ask my uh, tax guy who was like, oh no, you're claiming loss again? I was like, oh no. So this year I can't claim loss. Oh God. Anyway, uh, that's a whole other problem. When you have a hobby business that doesn't make any money, uh, the government hates you. So just a heads up, don't, don't do what I do and just like spend all your money on RC stuff. I'm trying to make a business out of it. Whatever. Oh yeah, Nash is saying send by PayPal. You don't have to send it by PayPal though, but uh, if you want to enter the raffle and you're not on Tall Cam Tuesday, you can send it by a PayPal. The link is not only on my Facebook group, but it's also in the description. So, so do it low on beers. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we should do this. Let's do this. So, oh, uh, oh right. All right, it's time. It's time, dudes. It's time. Let's do this. Here it comes! Television's most exciting hour of fantastic prizes! Jimmy, come out of here! Jimmy, come out of here! Most importantly, have your bets made in there. You got the whole mess. I'm terrible. All right, I'm gonna drink more beer, and then I'm gonna repeat what I just said because I turned it off. I turned off the audio, and then I forgot about it. It's just like typical Zoom. This is Zoom culture right here, dudes. This is what happens when you work from home. You forget to unmute yourself all the time. This is like the reality of what I live. I live in this square. I live in this square room, dudes. It's not pretty blue like this though all the time. It's just full of shit. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's get to it. Anyway, so what I'm gonna say, dudes. All right, if you guys want to be part of a raffle, super chat me five bones or send me five bones via PayPal. Link is in the description. Next uh, raffle, we're gonna do another drift helix. It's gonna be a month, so 
It's, we're going to be able to do four episodes of Tall Can Tuesday. Uh, you get four opportunities to send me a super chat. Or, you know, if you're just at home and you use PayPal, the PayPal link, you can uh, enter through that. It's actually easier for me if you use PayPal because when you pay me in PayPal, it actually asks you to leave me your address and then I can easily send you if you win. Um, but anyway, so we're going to do the Drift Helix next week. So uh, just remember that. Um, Mile High is telling me to drink. I will. Um, these are all the peeps who sent me five bones uh, to win this jet boat. I'm 3D printing all the parts of this jet boat, and uh, and the winner is going to get a sweet one. I'm not doing any other winners uh, this week, this month, but uh, next month we might end up doing, we'll do something special. But we're going to tease that next week, and, uh, and it is going to be another Drift Helix uh, chassis. So hopefully you dudes are into that. But uh, And then maybe we'll do another jet boat um down the, the down the road or if you guys leave in the comments if you guys have something in mind that you think i should raffle off let me know that too because uh, i mean yeah anything to get you dudes to sort of help support the channel would be great if you guys want to help support me and buy some merch you know uh, definitely support the people you watch on youtube they do not well some of them don't make as i mean cletus is making like millions but uh you know if you want to support buy a t-shirt that's also down below Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's do this. Let's do this. And uh, let's see who wins this sweet ass jet boat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Woo yeah, I put it on as long as it would go. Like, as long because like there's more suspense right and get to drink more beer oh man let's see let's see let's see who i'm guessing it's gonna be like matthew or i'm thinking griptopia hmm i hope oh man i don't oh oh ted scale no matthew uh, uh chris is it chris rasta Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, man! Chris, man, you won that one. That's crazy. All right, Chris won. I kind of feel, I'm kind of happy he did because uh, he is definitely the biggest contributor on the YouTube channel, and uh, and I'm super happy to have that guy around. I don't know if he's still on here, but uh, but uh, he gets the boat, which is great, because I owe him a pair of seats already. So congrats, Chris, man. Chris deserves it for sure. And, uh, and don't worry, dudes. We're doing plenty of these. We're going to do more. And, uh, and uh, maybe I should do another one. I feel bad, because, like... Yeah, maybe we should do another one. Here, I'm going to remove. Here, we'll do this. We'll, uh, wait, why isn't it working? Oh, it's not working. Let me, hold on a second. Just give me a second. Uh, all right, all right, all right. All right, so I'm going to remove him from the raffle. We're going to do another one. It's not going to be the jet boat, dudes. It's not going to be the jet boat. But uh, I am going to, yeah, uh, let's do this. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. This first cage design, I'm gonna I'm gonna raffle this off on the same raffle. Yes, that's right, dudes. So I mean, you didn't get a boat, but you sure as hell are gonna get a super super sick cage. So let's uh, raffle this thing off as well. It is um, the first print of um, the generic uh, cage. It does fit in most uh, RC Lexan bodies, so. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do this one as well. So let's do that right now. Let's do it while I drink beer. Wait, Chris, you should have all Chris's should be gone. Oh, gosh. Okay, let me get rid of all the Chris's. Oh, boy. Of course. This is how I roll. You can see how many times he... Uh, he's in here. No wonder he won. Because always buying these tickets, man. Super appreciate Chris, man. What a, what a cool dude. Uh, let's see any more. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to shuffle it a couple more times. Let's see what happens. Make sure. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it. 
second prizes surprises totally nash knows what's what's what it's about oh my god it was only we dropped all these viewers now there's only 37 of you guys all right man let's hit it let's hit it boom i'm gonna drink more beer DIY, D, DIY bro, it's a wheel of names. It's just an easy way to sort of do a raffle. I just paste the names on one side and then it spins. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But, uh, ooh, slowing down, bros. Oh, come on. Who is it? Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> no way. Yeah, 10 scale. 10 scale garage. Did you dip? I bet you you dipped. Oh man, did Ken, Ten Scale Garage take off? Because that's hilarious if he did. Uh, yeah, man, Ten Scale Garage. I will send you this sweet ass cage, and uh, it also comes with the with the sort of the plate underneath. But I haven't printed that out yet. But I will, and I will send that to you. And uh, <laughs> so you are going to be the first one. You're the first one with this cage, and hopefully you get to put it on a sweet, sweet Ten Scale chassis. And uh, yeah. And profit, yeah. Wicked. I know. <laughs> no, no, he's gone. He didn't dip, man. He didn't dip. He's eating. Uh, you're eating uh, crickets. No, no. Yes, man, for sure. Doubters. <laughs> no, man. We. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't doubt. I doubt you. I was just asking if you had dipped. But uh, but yeah, man. Well deserved for sure. So, uh, I'm 10 scale. I think I have your address. Uh, if I don't, I will bug you on uh, Instagram and, uh, I will definitely send this out to you. Um, it comes with like a plate underneath as well. So that'll, that'll go on the, on the chassis. Uh, maple rounds, man. It's pretty sweet. Chris won the jet boat and 10 scale garage won the secondary prize, this super sweet cage. And, uh, and I'm going to send those out to them soon. Um, I don't know if uh, Six Stance Cars is still on here, but I'm sending you your seats um, in the mail as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Jenna. Everyone's calling you Jenna, which is hilarious. Uh, H Hallie. That's so funny. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, man. I'm getting a little sloshy, sloshy. This is bad news, man. Bad news bears, bros. Bad news bears. Uh, let's get back to Premiere. Wait, what do I got? I got to consult my list because uh, that's how bad it is today. All right, yeah, let's talk about... Uh, no, wait, maybe we need a pee break. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Might be that time to talk amongst yourselves, dudes. So that's 40 of you watching. All right, a whole bunch of people ended up coming back. All right, dudes, I'm just going to take a... I'm going to take a... Oh, wicked. John, man. You were, it was so close. Uh, let's do it. Let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break for a second. Scale addiction. We're coming back and talking about you. So, uh, hang out, hang around, hang around. But, uh, here we go.
Oh man. Yeah, that was a long pee, dudes. That was a long pee break. But uh but yeah. Yes, wicked John. Thanks a lot, man. Uh Antonio's saying a drink. Oh, yeah, I gotta refill, bro. I gotta refill the bladder, so. Bam. All right, let's see what else you guys are saying. Wee! Uh, hashtag, let's see here. Hashtag, uh, where are you? Hashtag my fix clean, bro. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Anyway, let's see here. First of all, I think I'm going to do a snack. Uh, Guillaume, are you still on here? <gasps> oh. Yes, okay. So Guillaume, the, the winner of the last Helix raffle, he sent me a bunch of preserves. And uh, these green beans are uh, pickled in, with jalapenos. So they're quite spicy. I've had a few already. And they're freaking, I mean, I'm not going to ruin this. I guess I'll ruin the surprise. But man, are they freaking delicious. So garlicky and so spicy. Oh, my God. Dudes. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Guys, get friends that pickle pres that preserve green beans in spicy pickle water. It's still freaking drink. <laughs> oh no. I know it begins. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, man, dude, delicious, bro. You you got it down, down to a science. And uh, my God, are they good? And then also, I got these. So these ones uh, seem seem like they're gonna be really good. I should try one. I'm gonna try one. I haven't opened these yet. So you know, this is how you know the preserves are are gonna give you botulism. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good sound. Oh, that's spicy, bro. Yo, dude, that's some spicy ass cauliflower. Oh, he's saying that the cauliflower is like six months old. Dude, totally pickled cauliflower. Uh, you're talking to a hardcore Polak. Yo, pickle, pickle the world, bro. Pickle the world. Are these are these spicy, bro? Oh, God. I can only imagine the farts tomorrow. Farts tomorrow are going to be quite, quite intense, I think. Uh, totally quite intense. Ooh, that smells really good, though. Should I eat, like, a little bit first? Oh, my God. Dude, man, these are great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know how they're, they're so much better than the green beans. Mm. Poutina. It's going to happen. Let's see what are you saying, Will. Friends, my lady does that. She doesn't know yet, but I'm going to try to talk her into cooking for me forever. I don't know, Will, bro. You know, if you want that, if you want, if you want, if you want to put that penis anywhere around your lady, you, you better cook her some meals, man. <laughs> yeah, man, they're totally from Aldrez. Aldrez is, uh, is Guillaume. He's the winner of the last, uh, uh, he he looks, man. These are really freaking good, dude, man. Poor Paula. Hashtag got to deal with the guy. Well, I mean, I hide it pretty well. I usually, I'm like, I hide it pretty well, bros. I don't know what I do, but I like, I'll come down here, sit in the chair, you know, I'll do the little like lead the lean squeak, you know, where you like give it a lean, the lean to, the the lean to. Paul's watching. There's no way. She, I think I hear it. Anyway, but yeah, the toots, man. But I open this thing up again because, like, I need another one. Uh, these are so freaking good. 
Ooh. Yeah. These are also Paula incompatible. She does not like spicy food. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Dude. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are really good. Uh, so much better than the pickle that I had. Yeah. Congrats, 10 scale for sure. Oh, dude. I don't have. You mean over the. Yeah. I don't. Yes. What else are you just saying? <laughs> Can you hook it up with the recipe? Yo. <laughs> Gia, man, they're asking for the recipe. Uh, delicious. Delicious. It's when you're sleeping comes out to haunt her. Yes. But, dude, the, Jessica, the, the key, the key is to have two duvets. Okay. So you, the key is two duvets. Don't know how it happened, but it happened, and uh, and now I can trap my own, my I can trap my own atmospheres. <laughs> oh, all right. Cheers to beers, Nash. Hopefully you're drinking too, buddy. How many beers are you on? <sighs> Cue again, bro. I'm telling you, two duvets. Go all uh, Swedish. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Oh no, do what's no like duvets, two two sheets, two two covers. Duvets, come on. Uh yo Steve, what's up, buddy? Uh your machine on that bike. This dude's been like crushing it. How how many I mean that's just not RC related, but Steve, how many kilometers already? It's like two thousand and twenty one. How many K have you already crushed on that freaking bike? Duvets. Uh, yeah. Yep. All oh, right, two. Come on. Oh, it's delicious. All right, all right. I'm going to have more of these. But also, I should probably Antonio, man, because Ant Antonio, uh, who was so close on winning the uh, jet boat, by the way. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> I feel so bad because all these dudes support and, uh, but I tell you, I'm sending you some stuff, so don't you even worry. I'm going to try to get you that 2JZ you're talking about. I got... Uh, uh, actually, I already have the 2JZ. I just have to print it. So it's like one of the things that I'm printing. Uh, anyway, we got, we got snacks. We got snacks on snacks. Uh, huge shout-out goes to Antonio. He's got, he got me these Japanese-style peanuts, which are pretty delicious. Oh, and we should try this too. The, the Mexican flag, of course. Gotta try this. This is gonna be delicious. And then we're gonna we're gonna go and talk about uh, scale addiction. Coconut? It smells like coconut. Oh yeah. Definitely coconut. Ooh, these are really good. Yeah, that's good. This is good. You know, I thought it would be like a red flavor, you know? But it's just coconut. Does it taste the same way all the way? Coconut candy, he says. Yes. Delicious. And then, uh, also, Antonio, I could eat. I was really debating getting a hoodie with this design. Because, like, on Amazon, you can buy the Takis hoodies. And uh, I didn't do it because it wouldn't come here in time. So, whatever, though. Let's try the nuts. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure I have it. Oh, no. Mm, no, those nuts are good. What have I done? What have I done? Yeah, okay. Dudes, if you have any opportunity to use Japanese style peanuts, heck yeah, brothers. The, the uh, put out the fire from the cauliflower. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's actually so... 
I could, I bet you this would more moisturize the the live the shiza out of my face. I just like. <laughs> I, there's no way to tell, Jessica. There is no way to tell. Oh, dude, I think we have them here. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Antonio, I'm gonna wait. Hold on, we're gonna hold on. We'll get to the sass for a quick second. So, so uh, look at this. So Guillaume, he's like bad K-pop, bad influence. Wait, hold on. Oh, I gotta close this for a second. Look, he had some takis, takis. So you can get them in Canada. They are. You can get them. And uh, I'm pretty sure Nash also had a taste. And uh, everyone's saying it's true. They're freaking delicious. Uh, you've converted me. Forget Doritos. Get yourself some Takis. And, uh, and then he's saying, what's next? Is Sakura? Yeah, buddy. I see Sakura in your future. Anyway, let's talk about... Um... Oh, boy. Where is it? Oh, man. This is hard to see now. All right. So Scale Addiction has this amazing trailer. Uh, he's selling it. Uh, you can buy the STLs. This is like a crawling trailer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you guys the like the awesomeness of this trailer. And uh, if you're into this sort of thing, you want your crawler to have a trailer. This thing is super sweet. Link is in the description. If you want to buy, I think it's like six, six, five or six bucks US to get this sort of the STLs for this. And not, not only another reason to get a 3D printer. But uh, if you have a 3D printer, it's a super cool design. Look at the leaf spring design is super, super cool. Um, wait, hold on. Jessica's asking me about bacon. Jessica, I, we got regular bacon, yo. We got regular bacon. It's delicious. Uh, you, can, you can also get regular bacon uh, with maple, which is pretty pretty tasty and kind of canadian E. But uh, I've never really been a fan of pea meal bacon, which is what Canadian bacon is. It's just like, I mean, that's just ham to me. But uh, regular bacon is freaking delicious. And uh, also pork belly is freaking delicious. If you ever had, uh, you know, uh, of the Asian variety, if you ever had, uh, uh, yeah, pork belly, it's freaking awesome. Anything that comes from the belly of a pig, good God, I'm up for it. it and it could be Canadian bacon, but it's on the uh, Canadian bacon is on the end of that uh, spectrum for me anyway. But, uh, oh, let's see what you're saying. Been in the jails in the US for a long time. Are you talking about Takis? Salty bacon is freaking the best. Yeah, Scale Addiction is, uh, is a wizard, man. Uh, so happy to have him helping me out, and uh, and I ho hopefully if you guys aren't subscribed to that dude, the link is in the description. Check him out. He is a wizard, and uh, I'm going to be interviewing him for the next um, for one of the videos coming up for the uh, oh god Drift Helix because uh, it was totally a collab with me and him. So for sure, it's beer from Belgian Braze. Find a company, and you're going to find the beer. Ah. Oh, man. Did I miss the recipe? Oh, I'll bug you about it later. Gim. Anyway, let's do it. Let's do it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Antonio. Oh, nice. Sweet. So Antonio's got uh, some free ones, too. Um... Oh, I'm keeping looking. Super Greg. Yeah, man. Well, I'm, dude, I'm going to paint the Porsche body probably with an airbrush. The only reason I'm going to do that is because the last time I painted a fifth scale body with uh, Tamiya spray cans, it cost about $230 just to paint the body. The backing alone was six cans. Anytime you want to cover a whole fifth scale body with one color, it's about six cans. So... Just a heads up, Super Greg, using an airbrush is just a much more cost-effective way. And not only that, you have way more control. There's way less overspray. And uh, and it, you just, you know, it's just a better experience um, all in all. And plus, I have an airbrush. Plus, I have a compressor. So, like, it's just, it, it's a no-brainer for me, for sure. Air fryer Pop-Tarts. Oh, my God. Pork belly. And need more beer. Thanks for reminding me, Aldrez. Yeah.
Yeah, dude, Antonio, man, send me the link on Insta. I'll share it to everybody if you want. Mile High is telling me to drink beer. Nash is telling me to drink beer. Yeah, man, Um, Ironclad, hold on a sec. Oh, man, I'm going to have to dig for this, bro. Oh, no, no, no. All right. All right, Ironclad. We'll get back to uh, scale addiction in a second. So this is my bag of uh, airbrush colors. I'll probably end up getting some more from uh, Scale Science is, uh, is selling some now, Sp specifically formulated for Lexan. And uh, they're fairly cheap as well. Uh, Fast Color is no longer making paint, but I still have a bunch of their paint. So this is the orange that you saw on the Gen 8. These, this, the, you know, this is like, I mean, in US, this is probably like $4.99 US. And this will paint like three bodies, right? So just, just like this is $4.99 and it'll paint three bodies. Yeah. And then, okay. And then I'm using, yeah, so sometimes I use these auto air colors. They are water-based, so ironclad. Yeah, I definitely use water-based for sure. I think the big thing, and Vivian from uh, SRC was talking about it, uh, to get your paint to stick, just make sure when you're washing the inside of that body to really give it a good scrub. Like, use Brillo so that the Lexan ends up looking like sandy like you you're almost dulling the inside of the lexan so if you do do that and you're washing the inside of the lexan make sure you already mask your windows because if you do that to the windows the windows will never be clear again so just mask the windows and then wash the body and scrub it with brillo up until so that it, it's almost like you know it just looks like you hit it with some hardcore sandpaper like it's got to be the more uh, purchase, the more surface area you give your paint, the more it'll stick. And uh, and these guys don't really need any additives to stick. They work really, really freaking well. Um, you know, auto air colors. The problem though with these with airbrushing is you need to you need a um, thinner. You have to thin these out. These are really thick paints, so you end up using more thinner than paint. So. And uh, Super Greg saying, so it's milky, agreed. It's got to be like a milk consistency. That's that's what you're looking for. But the thinner is very important for that. Look, I got more fast color. Um, hold on. Hold on. All right, here we go. No, that's airbrush cleaner. But there's another one in here that I want to talk about. Yeah, this one. So spastics, I'm not a fan of spastics, man. Spastics is really stinky. I don't know. It's definitely not a water-based... It's not water-based for sure. This one really stinks. I don't know what this one, enamel-based? I'm not sure. Um, but I don't like using this one because it's too too stinky. I like the water-based ones way better. And uh, and Createx also has a pretty, pretty good, like this is this this is what I use to, to, to uh, back or to do the black on the Gen 8 and it, and it works pretty well. Anyway, that's enough of paint. I'm going to put it back in this is a vlog bag. Excuse me. All right. What are you just saying? Iron Cod's talking, wondering whether it's for a hot minute. Yeah, yeah, you can't find. Fast Color's done, man. I can't remember. They changed. Like, I, I'm, they're still making paint. It's just not called Fast Color. I can't remember. Maybe somebody in the comments, Ironclad, will let you know. Um, also, Ironclad, if you hang out on Scale Sciences channel uh, on Thursdays, they do a live stream, and uh, that would be a question to ask those dudes because uh, they know way more than I do. Yeah, see, alcohol based. Okay, so Jessica knows. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not into it either. I don't like it at all. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's talk, let's talk more about um, scale addiction because uh, he made this sweet. I'm gonna have some more. Uh, toot causing uh, preserves is delicious. What? Oh man. Oh god, this looks so good. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, man. Delicious. Anyway, here you can see uh, 
Oh, no, that's a different photo. I should not put that in there. But, uh, yeah, that trailer looks super sweet, especially if you had off-road tires on it. It looks really good. Yeah, and this is uh, his last video. He was showing off his sweet light setup, and uh, he got a resin printer to do these, like, you know, light buckets, and the light buckets are super cool looking. Uh, huge shout out goes to Scale uh, Addiction for all the cool stuff he's doing, and, uh, and you'll probably see a lot more of him on my channel. Mm. Oh, that's spicy. It's too spicy. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, I hear you, gear guy, but I use like a, a heat gun. And the heat, the acrylic ones dry pretty quickly with the heat gun. But they don't, um, they're not very strong. Like once they dry, it takes a good 48 hours for them to cure. And uh, once they cure, they're a little bit more resilient. They'll, they won't scratch as easy after 48 hours. But if you're masking stuff, it's very easy to scratch. So I'm working on it though. Apparently there's a backer that you're supposed to use that really strengthens the whole thing. And I'll let you guys know when I figure all that out because it's not going to. You're going to love me tomorrow on the pooty pooty. <laughs> I shouldn't eat. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying, Guillaume, is like not to eat any more of those is what you're saying. Oh, yeah, Nash wants me to print that trailer, so I, I'm sure scale uh, addiction is sleeping right now. It's got to be like either super early or super late in the morning for him, but uh, I'll get you it, Nash, for sure. Color shifts. Yeah, I, mean, I got to work on that, man. Jessica, I'm like not that good at it yet. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed to this dude, I'm sure all 39 of you dudes watching right now are definitely sub to this dude. But uh, but I figure, you know, you guys should definitely, if you're not, do it. All right, let's, uh, what time is it? 11.47? We should do SAS. Let's do SAS. Uh, why not? I should drink more beer. I've got a whole beer to drink, pretty much. You dudes aren't pushing me to drink beer today. What's wrong with you dudes? All right, there's three, six of you dudes. Uh, all right. Oh, no, you're here. Dude, man, if you're fading, I don't blame you at all. But, yeah, everyone's loving the trailer, bro. And Nash is telling me. Oh, Nash. All right, send. You got it, Nash. I'll, uh, I'll print it for you, Nash. Let's get scale. Let's get scale. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, sass. Let's do this. Yeah, hit the like, dudes. Also, go subscribe to Ironclad. Uh, I got to remember to sub to you too, bro. Okay. I'm on it. Let's do it. Hashtag scale and shit. Kind of awesome. Uh, I gotta love these freaking openers. All right, wicked. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so Guillaume is talking about how he's his new addiction to tackies. Thanks a lot, Antonio, for that. We're we're gonna be searching for these chips everywhere we go because they're delicious. Mark Makowski, Makowski. I don't know, Makowski. I don't know, Polish. Uh, one of my people, whatever. You got a wicked track geo tracker, man. That thing looks super sweet. Love the palette in the back and uh, those sweet deep dish rims. That thing looks super wicked. <laughs> Heads up, dudes. Uh, if you're not following me on Facebook, if you uh, want to be just sort of like uh, in the conversation or you guys want to come and hang out and, uh, and post your projects, it's better than Instagram only because you can create your own threads on the K-pop RC Facebook group and you can like do it. If you're not part of Facebook, I don't blame you. That place is a cesspool of uh, misinformation and craziness. So if you're not on Facebook, don't blame you. But if you are, come and hang out on Facebook. It's uh, K-pop RC, obviously. Um, oh gosh, I can't read his name. But, uh, let's see here. Offer, Philip. Philip Man and his bubble back. Man, I really want one of these Civics. One of these days, I'll find a rust-free version from, like, Arizona or some, like, desert state. And uh, 
and turbo the hell out of it, maybe K motor it. I just like just back to my teen years, my late teens, and making four banger mower lawn mowers go really, really fast is like super cool to me. And uh, so I got to do it. So one of these days, I'll end up doing it. Gordon, man, Gordon's got this wicked. Uh, oh man, what is that? It's a Toyota for sure. And uh, looks like he did a lot of modifications to that. Uh, Nash, take note, man. Look how he cut the doors on that body. And he got it to, like, look really, really cool. If you guys want to see these po uh, pictures in more detail, you know, come follow me on K-Pop RC. This is the kind of stuff that people post. And uh, Ricardo's got his uh, GoPros. Uh, I think he was on here earlier. He was talking about sending me a few. These are just sort of scale accessories to sort of stick on your... Uh, you know, drifter to make it look like you've set up an action cam on it. And that's super cool. Guillaume, man, Guillaume makes like these really wicked dioramas of crashed cars. And, uh, and they're super, super cool. Um, this one is like a Subaru that crashed into some kind of like, I don't know, radio antenna or like something. And they look super cool. Uh, I'm so into it. Love that stuff. Uh, and then Ricardo, man, Ricardo is working on this sweet C8 that he's making. And uh, that dashboard is starting to get really, really cool. He's like printing out all the, you know, the buttons and the and the gauges and stuff. And, uh, and man, I can't wait to see this project finish. He's been working on it for a while and it's quite awesome. And of course, here you go. Here's Ali from uh, Scale Addiction. He is, uh, he has a whole episode about setting up the lights on this R uh, Focus, this RS focus uh ford focus and uh and man it's got to be one of his coolest bodies that he's designed in 3d for sure and uh yeah man super jealous of that dude's skills anyway all right so in order to get to instagram i gotta stop sharing the screen and uh get to instagram so let's do that let's do that all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Scalar MFG is crawling all the time. I don't know where you are, Scalar MFG, but man, your photos are fire. Look at that, man. That lake in the background. There's nothing that makes it look more scale than sort of getting a really nice background and, and getting that depth. You know, the further the background is away, the less this thing looks like a model. And, uh, and that looks super, super cool. Antonio, man, thanks a lot, buddy. Uh oh man, dude, I feel bad. Antonio, I will I will dig into that and find it find it for sure. For certain. I get messaged a lot, so you know it's it's hard to like keep keep on top of things. Um I'm so scatterbrained as it is, so it's like definitely difficult. Uh yeah, it looks like Rocky Mountains. Yeah, man, but it could be like it could be Colorado, right? Like it doesn't necessarily like the Rockies come down. It could be like Seattle. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much about uh, U.S. geography, but uh, yeah, it could be Rockies for sure. Um, yeah, great, great pick or Tahoe. Yeah, man, for sure. Anyway, let's move on. What we got here? Uh, six stance cars. He's got this amazing uh, Rover. Land Rover that he's got working and, and he's got the hood latch working with like a screw and he like tightens the screw and it locks everything in place. It looks super, super cool. Uh, I'm so into this guy's build. That grill looks scale as Shiza for sure. Yeah. All right. Quick, quick. He tagged the park. Oh man. Did he? Oh, it's okay. It's BC. Okay. So he's in British Columbia. Wait, wait. He's a uh, fellow Canadian. That's awesome. All right, Scale Addictions trailer looks pretty sweet. Nash, you got to put your wheels on it, though. You got to put your old uh, trail finder wheels on it. Make it look super cool. Anyway, keep it going. Matt B underscore BMX and uh, some super sweet tandems. Look at that freaking man. Uh, I got to just, I got to convince Paula. For us to move into a house that we got the whole house so I can get the basement. If I could get the basement, bros. If I could get the basement, bros. I would make some serious cityscape drift. Uh, make a cityscape drift track like in a heartbeat. And it would be super, super cool. Iron Class talking about that trailer being super cool in it. 
It looks pretty great. But look how close these guys are drifting together, man, door to door. Like, that's some skills. That's pure skills right there. Uh, I need a garage. I need more. You know what? Uh, yeah, man, I need more space. And then if I have more space, I'll make a garage for sure. After seeing Vivian's garage, oh, my God. But super clean tandem, man. These guys are like bumper to bumper. It is crazy. Um, just that's skills, man. That's skills. I don't know if you've if you ever tried to drift uh, in tandem with anybody RC, you'll know how much skill this takes. It's quite quite crazy. Uh, Wild Customs, everyone's doing this, man. I don't know if you guys remember, but I pre-ordered this D12 from WPL. Not from WPL. It was from like Banggood, which was my mistake, and uh, and they they didn't send it out to me. Like I ended up having to like cancel my order and order from WPL. I remember posting a thing on the K-pop RC on fa the Facebook channel being like, let's make a Hoonigan drift D uh, K truck or whatever. And now everybody and their mother's doing it. So I'm just like not doing it anymore. I'm going to figure something else out to do with the D12, which is like sitting in a box up there. But uh, I don't know what it, what's with everybody and, and making these super, super wide uh, box flares, but then not filling it up with the tire. Wild style customs, man. That is one sweet ass build. But uh, get some spacers on there, bro. Like get that, get that, you know, make that wheel flush, bro. You gotta get that wheel flush. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's keep moving on. Uh, Dave Zilla, man, that is a super sweet livery. Love it, man. That looks awesome. That skyline is cool. Crazy. Is this case? Is this Skyline? Yeah. R35 GTR Skyline. Beautiful. Love it, dudes. It is awesome, man. That is awesome. And then RC Garage Garage Bro. <sighs> miss it, man. I miss it. Miss the freaking drifting. What what a great time that was. And it's been November, man. November was the last time I went to the track. It's been closed for almost half a year. And, uh, man, that half a year went by super, super quick. Uh, Scalar MFG, another sweet photo. Get a little lower, though. Man, that orange truck. God, that looks good. That looks so good. That looks so good. 10 scale garage, man. I don't know if you're still on. Did you bail? Did you bail, bro? <laughs> did you bail bro but that looks so good the shovel the shovel and the axe are my favorite that looks so awesome that looks so awesome yo you gotta black out that front headlight man so you can't see the front headlight in the wheel well that would be my only constructive criticism but who the hell am i man that uh cold that intake that high intake there that thing looks so sweet man that thing looks super great uh, let's see your Northern RC and his Baja Ray. I think that's a Baja. Yeah, that's a Baja Ray. No. What does it say there? Tiny trucks. Not sure. It's a Ford Raptor. That's for sure. But it might actually be a slash. It looks like slash rims. Let's see here. Hobby wing. Yo, bro. Anthony, man. Anthony, bro. Peel that hobby wing sticker off and stick it straight. You triggering me, man. Triggering my OCD, man. That thing's got to be straight. <laughs> I mean, it's true to life, though. I don't. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people with bumper stickers that are slightly crooked. And uh, and that thing, that E34, man, looks super cool. I love the sticker on the back to back off. Super cool. Yeah, I love the stickers on the on the rear. It's so awesome. I need more beer. I'm here, sheesh. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you staring at your 3D print? You're just like watch. I mean, it's it's hypnotic. I'm not gonna lie. It's a hypnotic thing. Up until like the it starts to hit things, and you're like, oh my god, is it gonna fail? Like I'm 10 hours in, is it gonna fail? Yeah, man. Okay, I should drink more beer. I should drink more beer. Let's do it. RC Garage Garage uh, sharing a sweet ass video. Let's see if we can full screen it. Yeah, man. I love these onboard camera angles. The stabilization on these action cameras is getting so freaking good that, uh, man, it's a far cry from like 
the GoPro Hero 2, GoPro Hero 4 days where like everything was just like a shaky mess. And you could see like the, you know, horizontal, like, uh, what is that called? Uh, oh, man. Why can't I? Oh, man. I'm drinking too much beer. Uh, why can't I really think, think about that? It's like where the sensor samples, you know, sections, and then you get the like, you get the lean. Uh, forget it, dudes. I'm just like, I'm talking nonsense anyway. What's that called? Uh, rolling shutter. Oh, man. Rolling shutter. Oh, Dave Zilla. This is before he got all of the stickers on there. Man, that thing looks super sweet. Love the like crazy boxy flares on that uh, skyline. Russell designed and 3D printed a piece that helps the trailer attach to the trailer. Uh, the trailer attached to the trailer hitch. Sick, man. That thing looks awesome. That also looks like that trailer hitch is handmade, which is super cool. Super into that. Dave Zilla showing off pre paint. Kuma RC, man. That thing looks awesome. Love it. Uh, S13 with the uh, neon and the like that like pale gray is super sick. More cauliflower. Dude, man, what are you going to do? Why are you doing this to me, bro? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, okay, Nash, I'm going to have more cauliflower and then I'm going to take a sip of beer. It's time. Ooh. Dude, am I going to eat all of the cauliflower? Because I feel like I'm eating all the cauliflower. Cheers to beer. Mmm. Yo. It's good. I don't know what you put in here, bro. But I'm cross-threading the thing. Oh, God. It just means I need to eat more, I think. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Delicious. Okay, there we go. So it's fair game. All right, wicked. All right. Yo, man, we call it eggplant up here, bro. But uh, I've heard it called auberg aubergine. It's like a trivia question, straight up. Um, I'll see that one of you. Oh, boy. I'm all about the salty snacks, bro. Salty snacks. Oh, Jesus. All right. Grimsley, man. I think it looks sweet. High slide away. I'm not sure what we're seeing. Looks like a severely tilted back shock. Not sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have left them longer, eh? Oh, uh, Guillaume, we should have probably left them. Oh, man, pretzel M&Ms. Dudes, you guys get the coolest awesomeness crap. We don't get pretzel M&Ms. Come on. Yeah, man, look. Wow, saw customs, bro. That tire needs to be fatter. Like that that fat ass needs to be filled up. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> All right, RC Garage Garage with another sweet video. Let me full screen it. Yeah, man, that track is awesome. That thing looks great. It looks so wide in comparison to to what I'm used to. Man, that looks great. Hopefully soon it opens, man. I'm, I'm starting to like lose it a little bit. I'm starting to lose it. Gear guy, man, that thing looks sweet. And so does what what's carrying it, man. Holy crap. Good work, bro. Is that a TR6? It is, I guess. TR6. And then with a with the Sylvia on top. Good lord. Good work. RC Garage Garage, man, with the Scale Science livery. That's awesome. Uh, John, man, that thing looks super cool. This is, I'm assuming, the uh, Gen 8 that he's been having quite a lot of issues with. Uh, his uh, <laughs> axle housings have cracked, and, uh, and he's having weeping issues on the shocks. Um, so just a heads up, dudes. If you do end up getting a Gen 8, you're going to have to deal with some stuff. But uh, it still might be worth it over uh, TRX only because of how much cheaper it is. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to go back. 
Yeah, I didn't realize the TR. Oh, okay, so it's longer. So the snap-on one is longer. Super interesting. Uh, it's crazy how snap-on has all these like RCs or whatever. Uh, let's see here. No, no, he, he did. He already Mile High Man. He already uh, he's already up, upgraded with uh, Troll 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 axles. He's actually telling me to to get those. But I'm just like, ah, do I if I get the plastic ones? They're only like 15 bucks a pop, front and back. So it's just so much cheaper, so much cheaper. I mean, Nukem Bros, man, the freaking Yoda is so awesome. Love that cutout on the door. So good. Uh, build customs, man, that looks super sweet. Uh, high slide away. Not sure what we're seeing. Oh, and there we go. Hold on, you can't see anything, guys. Okay, it's coming up coming up it's pretty cool yeah i'm into it uh the real sti is making like custom what are those fiats i guess it's fiat super cool is that real guys you think that's real or rc uh, i guess it's rc but oh my god it may be slow but it's 100 percent british <laughs> that's pretty great rc reality am i not following this dude come on uh, sleepy, uh, Psyker. That thing looks pretty sweet too. Uh, K9, I'm definitely following you, dude. Oh, K9, bro. Just, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to like make a lipo last, just make sure when you're done using it, you put it in storage voltage. That's like, that's what does it. You, you gotta like, you like, you got to put it in storage mode. Otherwise, it's going to puff on you. It's totally going to puff on you if you don't. If you, like, fully charge it and leave it for, like, more than three days, it's going to start puffing. Like, hands down. Hands down. Yeah, Battle Spirit RC, man. Looks like your kid's loving it, man. What a lucky kid. He's got a cool dad, for sure. Uh, gear guy, man. Oh, man, that Hachiroku. Hachiroku, man. AE86, that thing looks super sweet. I'm so into it. So into it. So into it. All right, keep going. Keep going. Northern RC, man. It's all about this, dudes. If you guys aren't into crawling, RC crawling, just do it. But make sure you waterproof your RC, and then this is where you go. You go to a river, and uh, and you just, like, hit it on the rocks, man. Hit it on the rocks. Uh, yeah, right? Looks real. Okay, I'm gonna go. should I go back? I'll go back a little bit. Uh, there it is. Look at that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Always balance charge. Always storage. Yeah, my eye. You know what? You know what? It's up. Three point eight. Yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but even then, sometimes like it, it might be at storage voltage. But like, if you put it in storage mode on the charger, it'll still charge for a while. Like, it'll still push milliampers into it but keep it at a certain voltage so it like depends you know like i, I don't know i don't know what the charger would do that 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 uh, we can't see with just checking the voltage but i kind of have a feeling that it understands maybe like how long it takes for the battery to spit out a milliamp hour and then it understands like how much it would need to get to storage mode i'm not sure but anyway here uh, let's see here where we were Oh, man. Yes. Oh, super scale. So this is a Gen 8. He's got the active suspension kit on the Gen 8. And, uh, man, I'm just, I just need to set fire to the neighbor. And then you guys know where that scale, uh, the uh, super scale kit's going to go. That thing's so cool. So cool. So cool. So cooler. So into it. Super scale, man. The King, Skyle Factory, Don't Drift. That is one sick RX-7? Eh, I guess so. RZ Garage Garage, another sweet video. Gonna keep going. Yeah, man, that that rear tire's got a tuck, bro. It's got to. Uh, not sure. This one looks uh, quite small scale. Anyway, gonna keep going. 10 scale, man. Got a jet boat. Bro, super jelly. That thing looks so awesome. So into it, man. So into it. Cheers to beers. Uh, 
is trash. Oh man, really? I hope. I mean, just contact him on Insta. We could have the same same RC. All right, scale addictions. I'm doing a scissor lift, which is super super sweet. All right, Nash. You probably already saw me drink, but yeah, scale addictions making a scissor lift, and uh, this is definitely one that I'll print because that that's just wicked. That looks so cool. Oh, Gear Guy. So Gear Guy, other stuff in the works. 3D printing his own bead locks. That's kind of sweet. Another good reason to get a 3D printer. What? Wait, let's see here. What are you saying? Do it again. All right. All right, all right, all right. We should get through this. This is hard. Uh, probably going to have to do a pee break. Gear Guy with his carbon fiber and magnets. Dude, Gear Guy, bro, you got the great, you got such great ideas. If you look, uh, if you look here, he's got uh, rare earth magnets, and then he's got a um, carbon fiber sheet that fits over top and hides the battery and all the all the goodies. You know, such a great idea. Yeah, that's so awesome, and it, it fits snugly. Everything's cool. Northern RC got a Pro Line shocks, really good shocks, by the way, for sure. Oh wait, gear guy saying check the video. Where's the video? Okay, okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, cool. Okay, so he's got the turbos. All right, gear guy, man, that looks so sweet. Yeah, buddy. Where's the video, though? Let's see the video. Wait, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Everything's magnetic? Dude. Skills, bro. Skills. Skills. That's awesome. That's awesome how everything's magnetic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. All you need now is like an OLED display and then you have like a real monitor up in the dash. Just kidding. Ironclad, man. Have a good night, buddy. Don't drink a drink. Dude, man, I'm, I'm, I'm home. I've been home since last March. I've been sitting here since last March. And I'm going a little freaking batty, but uh, but have a good night, buddy. <laughs> have a good night. Anyway, let's keep going, keep going. Yeah, man, that dash looks crazy. Hold on, going back to the dash. That looks sick. Uh, drift spec, drifting, or drifting in some like crazy garage. Yeah, great shots, buddy. That looks amazing. Okay, keep going. Scale addiction with his lights. We've, we've talked about those super scale same thing uh monster parks man love that what is that a datsun that looks so good i don't know why i'm such a sucker for freaking pickup trucks oh and clench fury oh wait oh no what have i done what have i done hold on i'm coming down i'm coming down here it is oh yes clench fury what what is up there 3D printed FPV jet boat. Oh, he's got an FPV camera on there. Yes, buddy. That's so awesome. I'm so into that. So anyway, Chris ended up winning this jet boat. We'll do another jet boat uh, raffle at sometime later, but we're going to end up doing more uh, scale cages, although this one's going to 10 scale uh, garage. But uh, we'll, we'll send a bunch out to you dudes. Um, so don't forget to super chat me five bones to join the raffle that would be super huge if you did um all proceeds are going to future projects so if you do super helpful rc garage garage another wicked video uh gear guy man these rims man painted so nice that looks so good looks so good wow you guys keep posting there's so many of these uh oh russell he's got the same rims as i do just uh minor like brushed aluminum these are like uh look like they're anodized black but that but they look super cool uh also on a jeep body that's super neat gear guy with his turbos i'm assuming those are keychain turbos let's see here john and his uh gen 8 that thing looks sick and uh scale addiction with his boat so i think we're, we're done yeah we can okay uh let's see here share screen
Wicked. Okay, I'm drinking more beer. I'm drinking more beer. I'm drinking more beer. <sighs> Wait, what's going on here? Logo. There we go. Bam. All right. Man, my computer is not having it. There we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. One more back. I don't know what you guys are saying. Now just tell me to drink. I have another beer, but I don't know if I should drink it. If I drink it, I got to do a pee break. Those 35 of you dudes watching, should I should I drink one more beer with you dudes? Or uh, should I just kill it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, this week is not so bad. I worked overtime, so it shouldn't be too bad this week. Oh, Mile High is saying we're doing a late night one today, boys. I don't know. If I have another beer, it's going to be late. <sighs> Nash, I'm done. Should I? Like, I mean. Look, if I open another freaking beer, bro, Paul's going to be pissed. <laughs> Andrew's saying five more. Andrew, what's up, man? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. New name. Always one more. Oh, your guy's out, man. Dude, man, don't don't ruin your day tomorrow just to come hang. Uh, he's saying crack it. Ooh. And uh, and I just had my third pee break. I might have to do that. I gotta do a pee break. I'm gonna like open this. Hold on. It's right here. Stiegel. Stiegs. Shh. Shh. Just kind of hiding it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hashtag Paul rocks. It does. It's true, man. Antonio saying drink more beer. Uh, Paul. Oh. <laughs> it's too late, Paula. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, no. Pinch it quick. Pinch it quick. All right. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Don't do it, Paul. Saying, don't do it. Now you're saying, Paul rocks. Uh, all right. I'm gonna definitely go pee. So we're gonna have to do the pee break, which is fine. Uh, give me a second, dudes. Did I make it back? Oh, did I make it back? Totally made it back. Uh, listen. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, Paula was saying, Paula, the beer is not the problem. Uh, these are the problem. These are these are fire, like amazing fire, like worth the gastrointestinal uh, discomfort. In my couch at this point oh uh, all right paula if it's couch at this point then can you bring down my duvet and my pillows that would be great Does anyone spell asparagus? no i didn't have asparagus bros uh nash saying paul saying hi to nash oh man paula's here and she's not happy because i got a full I got a full beer I mean, it, it wouldn't take me very long to drink. Oh, no. You know what? Polly should probably bring down my pillows. And because I'm going to be pretty much guaranteed I'm going to be snoring quite loud after this beer. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. 
wicked. Let's wait. What are we gonna do? I don't even have anything to really talk about except beer. Alright, wicked. I don't know what to I don't know what to talk about, dudes. I'm just drinking beer now. This is like nothing. There's nothing left. Are you oh I see. There's nothing left to talk about, dudes. If I have gas boat. Wait, your old gas boat you wanna look at? Let's see here. I'm gonna go libraries, no markers, media. I'm on it. I'm looking for it. Just give me a second. The computer is slow today for some reason. The internet's okay now. I feel like the neighbors went to... S what? Rock, paper, scissors for 10 months? Will, I don't even know how that happens, but if you do end up super chatting $10, that gives you two entries into the next raffle, so... Uh... It's your spirit. All right, I'm in it. I'm into it. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold on. I'm looking. Jet boat. Shout outs boat. Shapeways. No, it's got to be higher than that. Cage. I'm sorry, dudes. I'm like looking through a list of videos. It's got to be after Yeti. Well, maybe it's none. No, it is. Um, ah. Yeah, yeah. I found it. I found it. My fault. I'm trying to figure out how to turn it down, though. No, not audio track. All right, all right, all right. Nice. All right, this is Nash's old, uh, what, two-stroke boat that we were uh, hitting one one time. He ended up hitting a uh, buoy, and it just like, kind of broke the whole freaking front of one of the hulls because it's a dual hull. But this boat, man, you can find these boats pretty cheap. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw one for six bills. You know, people buy these things, and they just don't run them. The, the one thing that I'm, like, kind of upset, Nash, that we didn't do is we didn't go into a real boat, like a big boat, and then, like, shot footage of this thing running alongside the, you know, real boat. Like, tracking shots. Everything we did was, like, from the shore, which isn't as cool. Uh, what's in the box? Oh, 10 scale garage, man. I don't know. Um, I really, really wanted to build a hydraulic excavator. You know, like uh, if you want to buy an RC excavator that's hydraulic, it's like two grand, three grand, maybe minimum. And then you get, and then you go really high end. If you you can go like really high end RC excavator, and it's like. What is it? That's like seven, eight grand uh, all day for the for that kind of RC, like a Lohenbrauer, like a, those German ones. You know, the Germans are freaking crazy about their scale models, and uh, and so I found a company that like sold the like pressure blocks, like the the, the valves for hydraulic valves, the hydraulic pump, and the ramps, and I was thinking of like. I don't know if I could find a laser cutter, the laser cut me and then weld like and, and build my own excavator, you know, that's something I always want to build, but it's like so far out of reach that I just like wouldn't, I can't do it. So yeah, man, ha Hallie, man, great question. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for keeping the, 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 the stream alive. Yeah, totally great footage, bro.
Make a underground drift race likes underground. Yeah, I mean, Gia, man, like I like I need more space, so I'm like hoping that at some point, maybe by the end of the year, uh, fingers crossed, if Paula, Paula, and I can maybe buy a house, or if we decide to rent again, we're gonna uh, we're gonna look for something where it's like the whole house, because like it would be great to have a basement. If I could get a basement, then. Uh, I'll freaking I'll make a cool track for sure. I'll do something cool with the space, but I'm getting tired of like get choked by space. Like it's just too too uh, it's too tight in here, man. It's like hard. Like I can't even keep the Porsche. Like the Porsche chassis is in the living room because like I I don't have space for it. So kind of tough. But yeah, the footage is super sweet. Nash, you're right. This video is pretty sweet. Um, I think I had another one though. Well, I'll put it after this video so we can look at it. Yeah, the boats are sick. I'm so into it. Love it. That's a good video, man. Nash, I kind of have a feeling that, uh, this video sold your boat. Yeah. Ooh. Did I get? Uh, I'm not. I'm not that old. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's K-pop RC. On this week, check out serious boat. Yeah, serious boat. Remember this one, Nash? I like put your boat in front of my 54-inch TV. Yeah, man. Some good shots. I gotta get, man. I need more space. I, uh, I, 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 I let it go. I'm not, I'm not doing this this stuff anymore. I should be doing this stuff. Dang. Oh, dude. I don't know if it's a beginner boat, but maybe. That was a while ago. True. True. How a while ago was that? Nash, man, that was five years ago. Five years. That was a long time ago. Yeah, and I got my smoke machine going. Come on. That looks pretty good. It's pretty late. Oh, man. We should kill the stream soon. I'm going to finish this beer and we're going to kill the stream. Video, subscribe. Hold on, I just talk for a while. Okay, I'm not gonna. What other video, Nash? Five years, bro. I'm trying to think what else is cool that we did. Can't remember. Oh, man, what did we do? Oh man, there's so many. Let's see what we. Let me just gonna pull one up. I'm gonna pull an old one out. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's funny that I pull this one out. Look with Luke. Oh man, this was my birthday. When was this? This was my birthday. Um, hold on, I'm gonna tell you right now. Holy shit. Six. This was eight years ago, Nash. Eight years ago. Oh, man. Dudes, where does the time go? If you're young, if you're under... If you're under 25 years old... Yo, seize the freaking day, bros. Don't sit on your ass. Just, like, go and do stuff. All the time. Because, like... It just goes, it goes like this. Bulge sabotage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Valino. Dude, I didn't know you had a fuck. You got a crazy sunburn that day. Anyway, dudes, Valino shot this whole video. Uh, it was my birthday. And I like, <laughs> and I got hit. My brother was there too. Got them all out. We were just drinking beers and smoking dupes. 
and uh, and racing fifth scale. And uh, I have to admit, this is like the first time that I made a video where I was I was driving and somebody else was shooting. Like usually, what ended up happening was like I would I would be shooting. Like if if you saw any footage from my videos, it was like me behind the camera. Like I couldn't race. But then you know, Valino, man, Valino, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate you, dude. I'm so sorry you got such a serious sunburn. Uh, that's rough. It was just hot in the sun, man. Like everyone's wearing jackets. But yeah, I guess because it's like dirt, you know. Two strokes, you know. <sighs> Gia, man, I don't know, man. That's hard. That's a hard call. That's a hard call, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hard call. Fun day for sure, dude. I wouldn't have gotten any of this. Like, I wouldn't have had any of this footage without you, man. Shots. Oh, look at this shot. Look at the wheel. The wheel popped off of this dude. That's me there. Man, that cage is awesome. I think uh, Cax has that cage. I should get that cage back from him. Fun. Okay, well, thank God, scale addiction, because, like, I'm telling you, I'm just wearing a hat, so it doesn't look like it, but losing my hair, bro. It's bad news. Bad news. Yeah, man, great videos. This track was sweet. This is like a, this is like the heyday of fifth scale in Ontario, Canada, like north of uh, up, upstate New York, just slightly north. Um, this track doesn't exist anymore. If it does, it's a private track. Uh, don't blame the dude, really, if he made it private, because uh, when things get too popular too quick. It just doesn't work out most of the time. Oh, Rasta, bro. You almost won a raffle. Uh, glad to see you back, man. Uh, cheers to beers. I'm already kind of half in the bag. I'm trying to finish my beer and then I'm gonna kill the stream. But um, yeah, we're going to give away another uh, Helix cage the next raffle. So just a heads up. Yeah, Will. Dude, man, I wish, man. Will, I wish. No, eight years ago, bro. God, where does the time go? It's crazy. God, so cliche, but it's like, until you're there, you're like, you don't realize. Just don't waste time, dudes. Yeah, Nash is saying, miss you, Resta. For sure, man. Me? I'm pulling some. I don't know. What do you mean, just like videos? I'm just trying to finish my beer. So I killed the stream, bro. But uh, no, this isn't out of my ass. This is quite a good video, I think. I think. I just kind of like pulled uh, an episode. Here, let's switch episodes. Let's do this. Let's do 69. My favorite number. Uh, let's try 69. That's that. That's that. Oh, no, you know what 69 is? 69 is uh, me telling a friend how to, like, shoot a video. Oh. All right, so, like, I made this video for eight scalers. And uh, it's not a very popular video, which I don't understand, because it's pretty sweet. So, like, there's this, like, one race. It's like a three-day race. Uh, in like, I don't know, Ontario, Canada, and uh, it's quite legendary. It's indoors. The problem with indoors is that you get low light, and low light's super hard on uh, cameras. But uh, but yeah, I hit it. We should switch it up though, because it's not really it. It doesn't apply. I don't. Oh, another one. Oh. Dudes, I should just drink beer and 
I'm just trying to go older, right? I'm trying to find older videos. Oh, is this back when I was in 720 days? Oh, yeah, 720p days. Uh, let's get the scale. All right, so funny enough, man, like, I mean, I started YouTube back before it was a 1080p platform. So, like, we were making videos that were technically HD because it was bigger than standard def. And so 720p videos were considered HD at the time. But like, and like, I mean, I was shooting, uh, oh man, I'm, I'm the grown and everyone's going to like leave. But like, I, I was shooting with a Panasonic HVX 200 and that camera would shoot 720p, but you could do variable frame rate. So you could do slow-mo at 720p. And it was like, at the time it was quite an amazing camera because of that functionality and like, Man, it wasn't full 1080p at the time. But uh, but yeah, oh right, neighbor update, neighbor. Oh yeah, I don't have a neighbor update. Will I'm sorry, but it's coming because like I need to get it done. So uh, expect a neighbor episode soon. Um, man, I gotta get to it. I gotta get to it. It's the worst time for work for me because we're Junos. So like. I worked all weekend, like I work, you know, instead of working on K-pop RC stuff, I was working on work stuff on Saturday and Sunday. So, like, I mean, I was planning on doing all this stuff and I just couldn't do it. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Nash is telling me to drink. Cheers to beers. Oh, Jessica, Jessica, I'm two years away. So, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> Rest to say, drink. All right, cheers to beers, bro. I'm not going to go older. Let's go older videos because, like, they're better. Oh, oh, shh. Oh, no, I can't show this one because it's got copyrighted music. Oh, yeah, scale. All right, so I was dating this girl at the time. <clears throat> And uh, and we got invited to a cottage with her, like, for, like, really, what was it, like, really hipster friends. And, like, none of them wanted anything to do with me. <laughs> I brought this thing. And so I could just went out and just hit it. This thing's so much fun. I got to get this thing running again. Yo, Nash, I hope you're down getting your fifth scale running, man, because, like, we got to do some cool videos with these fifth scales while we still have them. Oh, yeah, that's a fresh Canadian forest. I'm sure you guys, I mean, it's upstate New York. We're not, we are pretty much in the States. This is, like, boreal. It's like a boreal forest. You'll find the same thing, Chicago, Chicago, Maine. Chicago to Maine. That's what we're talking about. You know, Boston. Boston. It's like all the same uh, longitude or latitude. I can't tell you. Rass is saying, yeah, we should. We totally should, bro. All right. We're drinking more beer. Delicious. Delicious. All right, let's let's see another one. Let's 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 go older. Let's go older. Oh, Pitbull, poor Pitbull, man. I don't know exactly what happened to Pitbull, but something happened to Pitbull. Oh yeah, this one. All right, so I took my Baja to a quarry, and this quarry, I don't know what they're digging out of this quarry, but it had this like red sand. I should have done it, man. Because this sand got in everything. And it killed the day. Because uh, that red sand got into the pull start, got into the flywheel, got into all the bearings. And it like it was such a fine red sand that it just killed everything. Like after a while, like I didn't have an extra pull start, so like once the pull start died, that was it for the day. But uh, but it was still a sick video. I think.
aqui. Anyway, man. Oh, and then, yeah. Yeah, this is sweet. Okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going older. Should I go older? I guess should I go older. Uh, wait, what episode is this? This is episode twenty. This is the twentieth episode of my channel. Do I go nineteen? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We should drink more beer, and I should kill the stream. Uh, yeah, this is uh, on the way back from, um, I can't remember. I think it was from Michigan. And we just found this giant mound of dirt, and we were like, we should hit this with the boss. Will, man, have a good night, man. Have a, have a good night. Have a good Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday. Uh, at least we're midweek. That weekend is coming up fast. So, oh, you were joking. I don't know. What were you joking about? Um, oh, yeah. If you're joking about 40, I'm not joking. Man, that sucks. I don't want to be 40. Young pop. <laughs> Wait, when was this one? That's I want to know that. Hold on. Reveal, reveal, reveal. Where are you? Okay, this was 10 years ago. Oh, Ken. 10 years ago. Let's see here. What are you talking about? I'm 44. Got back to RC. Uh, got back to RC when I. Yeah, no, I'm Rasta, man. I'm not. I'm just talking about the younger dudes. I'm trying to give people perspective. There's nothing we we can't go back in time, so we can just uh, we can just live it up from now on. You know what I mean? But like, man, because I remember you know early 30s, early 20s, mid 20s, where it was just like you weren't really paying attention, eh? And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, I'm 40. Yeah, I'm there with you, Bezenberry. I'm so with you. Yeah, man. Cheers to beers, bros. Cheers, cheers to forty. Cheers to forty. My stuff for the drift project. Oh, jeez. So I even sound younger. What? You know, I guess it sucks because you have like a like you have like a like I can I can show you ten years ago. You know, maybe that's weird. Maybe because we're not we're not like maybe we're like the first people to have like. A, a, it's the document of that of all that time, and then like you're like, what, were, what was I doing? And was like, was I was I doing cool stuff? Well, I can't show you this one because it's freaking copyrighted. Okay, I'm uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm gonna go later because like if I if I if I keep going earlier, then I'm gonna have copyrighted music videos and uh, music, and that's gonna suck. What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, when I made a vacuum former. Okay, I'm gonna kill it. I'm just gonna hang out with you dudes. Whatever. Let's do like the logo loop. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, cheers. Cheers, Jessica. Yeah, man. Rast is telling me to drink. What's up? What are you saying, Rasta? Rasta 40s when it starts for real. I guess because you like realize, you know, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 40 crew. Hashtag 40 crew. Cheers, uh, Dre. Cheers, man. Did you see? Dre, did you see? I put you in. I put you in. Uh... <laughs> Was that you? Dr RC Garage Garage, am I like, maybe I'm too drunk? Hold on, let's see here. Where was I? Uh, was I too drunk? Raffle. Uh, let's see here. with the same exact look at that oh, oh yeah are we styling or what look at oh, that yeah. same exact watches Woo. yeah 
Because we figure we got the money, why not spend it, right? Uh, <laughs> hey, Jimmy, speak. <laughs> anyway, I, was that am I am I is my brain just like not functioning well? But was that is that was that you? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That was awesome. That's so funny. Ah, spicy flower, man. Keep some for Paula. No, Paula is not a spicy fan. It's all for me, bro. Paula does not like the spice. She does not. So this is this is all me, bro. And I'm gonna eat it all. Thank you, brother. I gotta send you some beer. I'm gonna send you some beer, Guillaume, uh, soon. Uh, it will happen. Oh. Uh, wait, where? What? <laughs> okay, see so here. What are you saying? All oh, my cool stuff was before forty. Rasson, do you have kids? I'm trying to think. Have a sip of juice. Oh, I did already. No, Paula's going to be mad. Paula probably already brought my, like, pillows down. I'm going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. Yo, I'd drink it. I would straight up drink. Yo, Gia, man, I would drink the sh I would drink the shit out of this. This is delicious. It's freaking delicious. I'm like, I'm not. The only reason I don't want to drink it because I keep drinking beer and it's salty and then it's like, it's like you know you got to manage your hangover. It's like <sighs> the more salt you and consume. Is uh yeah oh you got two daughters okay good all right so it's not all lost if I got it, if I have a kid soon so it's bomb this is delicious you know like I'll probably end up making like salad dressing out of this juice you know what I'm saying uh 21 and 18 whoa you have them early eh you got them early. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I think I was just like, I was irresponsible, but responsible enough not to have a kid. So like, I just didn't have kids until, you know, now you're like, uh, and then the lady's like, uh, should we, uh, and then we're like, uh, oh boy. So you can bring it out of play. I don't know. I don't know. It might be flammable. I'm not sure. Delicious. Good job, Rasta. For sure, man. Oh, no. It's another emoji. I got to drink more. All right, dudes. All right, dudes. I should kill it because it's like late. It's almost 1 a.m. Oh, man. That's a long stream, dudes. I don't even know why you guys hang out with me this long. 28 of you dudes are still watching. Man, if you haven't thumbs up the video, just thumbs it up. I mean, may as well at this point. Um... <sighs> told you my cool stuff was early. Damn. I don't, did my cool stuff happen early? Maybe. I don't know. I should have done more cool stuff. Should have bought more Bitcoin. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we should kill it. We should kill the stream because, like, it's crazy late. It's time to definitely. I'm not even surprised Nash is still up. Holy moly. It is late as shit. All right, dudes. Thanks a lot for coming and hanging out with Talk Can Tuesday. I swear to God, I'm going to have videos coming up soon. Nash, we're crawling on the river. I just got a video of that. That's got to be uploaded probably first. We got the Porsche project that's happening. We got the Gen 8 project that's happening, uh, sponsored by, mm, man, Hobby Wing Direct, Wicked. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff happening. Uh, congratulations to Chris for winning the jet jet boat 3D print. That's awesome. And 10 scale garage for winning 
the cage super super cool uh man i appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out there's 30 year dudes watching now somehow we picked up six more people for some reason right at the end and uh super greg thanks a lot buddy uh Besenberry, nice to see you again man uh it was a good time hopefully you guys had a enjoyable tuesday night uh, don't worry. Tomorrow is the middle of the week. You're so close to Friday. You're so close to Wednesday. Don't forget, everyone's still shitty. It's still a shitty time in the world. So uh, don't don't forget to sort of check your patience and make sure you're uh, you're hanging out and uh, don't stress too much and keep it light, MFers. Keep it light. Uh, yeah. See you guys next Tuesday on Tall Can Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, man, shit, have a good week, what's left of it. Cheers to beers, bros. Uh, I think I got one sip left, and uh, I'm gonna end it on that. Cheers.